I left it paused, so we're basically just picking up from where I left off. Which I have to give a little thought to what, what, what I was doing. I was going back to base, wasn't I? Because I finally got the gold, and I want to make I want to make the uh, little builder's tool. I think I'm going to make my base here. I'll pick I'll pick a place where I can put a moon pool, and there's relatively flat space underneath it. And where I can, if I have like one of the multi-purpose rooms about this kind of level here, where if you come out of there, I can build some foundation pieces to put like the garden and stuff onto. And that's relatively close to the shore. It's not too far away from uh, from Delta, and it's right uh, right above the um, those twisty cabins. I know this game has a relative, a pretty big world considering, but it would be nice if, if, if it was bigger. It would be nice if it was bigger. Because like for in, in normal Subnautica, for example, it was, <clears throat> it was really nice having the Cyclops, but there really wasn't all that, you know, there wasn't really the kind of place that warranted it, that it was so far away or it, whatever. It was just a means to an end to have more uh, to have more mobile storage, basically, in another thing. Because, I mean, if you're in a game where you're underwater, what are you going to have other than like submarines and things? Which they expanded on here, the sea truck. But, yeah, I digress. So, where are we? Tool, tool, tool. Habitat builder, wiring kit, and computer chip. And... That's why we went to go and get gold. I'll make another wiring kit because I'm going to use use it up anyway. Oh, I put the coral in the junk. Put the junk in the mixed box anyway. We'll get two of them. There we go. I have, I have copper on me. I don't have enough copper to make the copper wire. Now I do. What have we got here? High capacity O2 tank. Two glass and standard O2 tank. We'll do that as well then. Got two quartz. Might as well get the bits that I need now and then that was copper. The middle one was quartz. Yeah. There we go. So let's fabricate the raw material parts that we need. Free up some space in the inventory. Now we can make a wiring kit. And we need copper wire for the chip. And then we can make a habitat builder. Sweet. Well, that was pretty quick. That was pretty quick. With the builder tool, you can construct sea bases from raw materials. The guide you get exploring a frozen water continent without a base. No bed, no storage, no place to put a fabricator module. No fun. There we go. We've got lots of oxygen, we can swim fast. It would be nice to have a compass module, but I don't think we can make that yet, can we? Copper wire and a wiring kit, so we can. Copper wire, and then some more silver, and then we'll put the rest of the stuff away. Got copper wire. What was it? See, forgotten again already. Fish brain. Wiring kit. Hello, one viewer. Keep popping in, but never say anything in the chat. Okay, so we make the compass. There we go. 
Now we know where we're headed. Sweet. Okay, so Delta Station is basically due south from here. That's basically due west. And then land is due north, if I remember correctly. And where was the other? There was another one. Alien Distress Core, but I think that's too deep. We need to find the rebreather. We need to get the rebreather before we go there, because the uh, that will help us go to lower depths. Now let's get rid of all these yellow dots. Come on. I only need to find one more fragment of the sea truck, which is nice. There we go. Cool. So what do I want to do now? I want to get some stuff together to make the base where I was thinking. What is it I can build so far? Yeah, I have to find the multi-purpose room, and I can get that if I go to Delta Station. Or the Delta Dock, and I go up and find that silly old woman's base because there's a whole bunch of stuff to scan there there's a whole bunch of stuff to pick up as well so we definitely want to make room uh, food water not going to need that much but we'll use some of it on the way there and back anyway oh and i have to change a battery we'll let that we'll let that run down okay so where are we delta station there is Oh, and look at that. How many? 135 units of oxygen, or 135 minutes, seconds. Two minutes and 15 seconds of oxygen. It doesn't seem like that much, but there's so much that you can get done in that time when you're just, you know, really going at it. I remember the first time I played this through, the caverns and things... Where the 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 mining the mining uh, the the mining station or I don't know what you call it the mine the mine is underneath that the mountain that Delta Station Delta Station is on. <coughs> There's two oxygen plants in the caverns on the way to the very bottom of the mining station, and. With this high capacity O2 tank, that was basically oh, perfect time for the bloody thing to run out. Oh, it's gone up. Okay, uh, it was perfectly timed. I went down. On the way down, stopped off at the first oxygen plant, picked up the oxygen from it, and then carried on deeper in. And I took a very specific line, very very specific line to minimize to, to. What the hell are you doing? See what I mean? You don't have to be particularly worried about them because even with the sea glide, you can get away from it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I had to take a very specific B line on the way down, and then I could spend a very. I think it was like 15 seconds or 20 seconds, maybe, looking around and picking things up, and I had to turn around. Uh, so, and then I on the way back, I had to pick up the the oxygen plant oxygens again and that even then I'd only just with maybe like five to ten seconds to spare because I always gave myself a little bit of leeway back to the sea truck where it was parked at the entrance of the mine. Yeah 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 It's a shame we don't get to do more modifications to the uh, to the prawn. I think it's called the prawn. At least it's what I always call it. Because her, the 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 this Marguerite, I think her name is, the one that she has looks really cool. And it'd be nice if we could do modifications to it, it's outside of like the normal, the drill arm and the torpedo arm and the repulsion, the, the repulsor arm and all that. The, the different arms that you can put on it. You could do a little bit of modification to it yourself, like she did. It would, it would be cool. Oh, there's... Um, oh, I don't need... Well, I do. <laughs> Rambling again. There's more uh, sulfur stuff in here. In one of these caverns. They're here, I think. Or not? Am I misremembering? 
Yeah, there, there it is, crystalline sulfur. I'll scan it because I didn't scan it the last time. Mineral detector. Oh, and a PDA. We'll take that then. And we'll take that. Yeah, see, there's more. I don't want to load up on too many things because there's a whole bunch of cool stuff to pick up in the um, in the uh, ruins of the base that's at the top of the mountain. And this is where Marguerite's going to jump down in front of us, I think. Or, yeah. Stop right there, Altera. You're out of bounds. I'm not with Altera. Then your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! Who are you? That's what the majority of old people are like. Get off my land. The woman is this looks different. Has been freed as far as my technology will allow. It would appear I am far less alone on this planet than I had anticipated. Uploaded to PDA. What was it? Oh. Honeycomb fungus. I don't remember ever scanning that before. Or did I? I just made and I forgot. Oh, I've got the torch. I'm like, I can't see anything, and I keep forgetting I've got the damn torch already. Yeah, you can scan a lot of the modules in here, and then you get more blueprints. I don't like building a base from the uh, the standard base pieces. I pr I prefer to go straight to the multi-purpose room because it's not difficult, and then you don't have to you don't have to replace a whole bunch of stuff, like disassemble things, etc. Because it's always a problem as to where to put your things. Because you can't disassemble a multi-purpose room that's got anything on the walls. So, well, you can't you can't disassemble any of the main base units, be it a tube or this or that or whatever, but when it's got things on the walls. <clears throat> Coffee. Oh. I should be able to find my way to Phi Robotics and set him up. So there's a whole bunch of cool stuff here. Table, I think the chairs you can scan as well, yeah. And then we also get the observatory from here, I think. At the end of Oh yeah, bed. <clears throat> so I need a bed. So we can sleep. That's something I normally change, because later on you get the um, double beds. I like to have a nice double bed. Very particular about where I sleep, be nice and comfortable. Comfy. Yeah, because there's a whole bunch of these posters and things that you can that you can pick up. <clears throat> I like to take all of these things back because you can decorate the walls of your place with it. Put them on shelves and stuff. Give the place a little ambiance. There's another one, I believe. And that one has a, an observatory connected to it. I didn't know that. I, I, I was looking at the sign and I was thinking, oh, you can make those. Can we scan it here? And I scanned it, and I scanned that one, and that gave me notes as well. Not there. But anyway, somewhere, it, it, uh, it gave me the message that I got some notes. After scanning one, I'd never th even thought to scan multiples of others. Oh, what's that? Let's use the light, shall we? Then maybe we can actually see something. I keep forgetting I've got the damn thing. Nothing up there. Just broken the It's a shame that you can't use the um, the habitat builder because you, you what is it press Q to disassemble things. It's a shame that you can't disassemble certain things inside of these buildings to get the raw materials out of them. Let's turn the light on. Yeah, see, there's another one up there, and that's got an observatory connected to it. Put the light away again. 
Ah, uh, his double bed. Must belong to one of those higher up. Aquarium. Anything else to scan in here? No, I think that's it. Oh, it was it started scanning. Oh, the observatory. Poster. Go. Another one of them. Anything else? great as we are together. We're almost better apart. Just look at how well Prosperina did in her last show. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to see it, but I'm sure if I'd been around, I'd only have made her nervous. Once this mission is over, I'll come home for a few good months. And then, what do you think if we look at reorganizing our expectations to facilitate longer-term separation success? I really think this could be a great model for us going forward, romantically and otherwise. Don't forget, I love you from the depths of my heart. Keep on succeeding in your projects. You know there's nothing I find more attractive. You're a bit of a left-handed monkey wrench, aren't you? Well, I guess each until his own. Uh, that's where we're going to have to do the uh, one of the missions. Yeah, I wanted to take, wanted to remember to take uh, some of the plants, what was it, the fruit. I've scanned everything that I, oh, did I scan that? Can you scan it? Or do you, no, you get that already. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? I don't think there's anything else to scan or pick up here. I think that's about it. <coughs> yeah, let's go in here before, oh, look. Build a fragment. See, we, we, we would have got it here if we didn't find it in that in that unit under the, under the sea. Yeah, that's Delta. Yeah, see, that's the mining operation I was talking about. You can get into that even with the sea truck through a crevice on this side, I think, if I remember correctly. Because our thing, pod or whatever, is somewhere in this kind of area, I think. Yeah, either there or there. I can't remember exactly. I think it's around here. Seek through it and dig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got plenty. We'll eat first because that always takes more water down. Vital signs stabilizing. Large filtered water. Oh, it'll be so nice to get the um, when we eventually get the the water filtration unit. Always have those big filtered waters. Yeah, we'll go down from here and get a start on the base. Now I can pick up more things. I just wanted to make sure I had the space to pick up everything in there because I, I normally pick up a bunch of stuff on the way up and then forget that these things are here and then not have any space left to carry everything with me that I want to ca want to carry. I have to make multiple trips, but this time I, I, I remembered. Where's that stupid fruit? It's in here, isn't it, somewhere? No, they're in a bunch of places, but yeah, over there. Pick up this stuff first. Sulfur. Have we scanned everything here that we can scan? And we'll pick up. Oh, yeah. A 
want to make sure I can get one of the fruits. I think they're larger. Because these last a long time in the bioreactor. And they're a good source of health as well as other things. Yeah, we definitely want to take at least two of those to get them started in the chic pot, plant pot. Now we can fill up our inventory with the other things. We've got three more spaces. One, two, three. And I should have enough copper, uh, copper, and enough titanium to make a multi cap, multi purpose room. We can put at least one down where we're going to make our base eventually and start bringing things across. Just walk around, will you? I'm used to playing Death Stranding. I was <laughs> looking at where I could jump off. <laughs> yeah, there's more good stuff in here. Yeah, more sulfur, more titanium, all sorts of goodies. Yeah, there's more sulfur there as well. Well, there usually is anyway in these pits. No? Okay. Weird. Like, for the longest time, when I originally played Subnautica, I didn't know that these things made noise. And I heard that. I was in I was in my base and I heard that sound, and I didn't for the life of me know what the, where it was coming from. And then I finally realized it was that. So I always, like, I put one down where my base is, so I know where home is but I always put it in a place where it's far enough away from me inside that I don't hear the annoying sound that was a fish oh we can see that from the surface um, yeah so we go to where we're gonna make our base yeah and there were times when I made my base here by the shore because you can put and the last the last serious base I made, I made it close enough over here on this side that I put a bunch of geothermal. You want to go away? A bunch of geothermal generators on those vents, and I basically didn't have to make energy any other way. I had like three or four geothermal generators on, the, on on one of those vents and that was more than enough to keep my humble little base going. I had some, I had like one or two solar panels on the roof as well, but yeah, every, everyone starts off with the solar panels. That's all you have. They will come at you, but what they do there is they're going after fish. It just—it's a bit. It can be a bit scary sometimes, for the uninitiated when that thing comes. Basically, well, it looks like basically charging at you. Yeah, I was thinking of putting the base here somewhere, because then when it's how far away are we? Three fifty-nine. Hmm. Maybe we want to go a bit closer then, because the scanning room. I think its base scanning range is 300 meters, and if you put two upgrades in it, then that's I think, I think 50 meters per upgrade, and even that, so that even that'll only get us to 400 meters, and that marker is on the near side of that island, and I want to be able to scan more or less that whole island and underneath it because down here in this area, in these twisty, twisty curly caverns. There's all kinds of good stuff. And over there, there's a bunch, there's, there's diamond and gold. So I want to be able to scan all of that with the scanner. So we're going to have to go a little bit closer. Let's see if we can find a place. Let's see if we can find a nice happy medium 
where, where we're over these twisty cur curly caverns and possibly yeah see even close enough to close enough to one of these geothermal vents that we can put a geothermal generator on it where are you all i see is his shadow oh he's up there maybe we're close enough to one of these vents that we can put a geothermal generator down and we get the benefit of that as well yes we can make the sea truck sea truck not that it's going to matter yet because we're still going to need at least one of the modules to put on it to make make it useful <clears throat> we're getting really we're getting quite close I like having a flat area where I can put the moon pool so I can uh, get in and out of the moon pool with the uh, prawn easily. I mean, if I have to, if I have to put a couple of found pieces of foundation down to make a flat area underneath it, that's not, that's not a problem. But even that you can't do everywhere because it needs a certain space underneath it and or uh, or beside it where it can put those legs to, to actually hold it up and we will need to go quite a lot we will need to go quite a lot around this mountain uh I'm at a bit of a loss because I don't want to get too far away from these squiggly caves. And this is kind of pushing it where we're in their in their area, so they're probably gonna attack the the base if we put it in the, just the wrong spot. Well, they're not actually going to attack the base, but seeing as we're going to have one of those grav traps out, that's going to catch fish, and then they're going to be attracted to that, and then they're going to hit the base. 319. Uh, it's marginally better, and then at least we're close to this. But there's no... Well, I guess... Oh, come on, make a decision, Mark. Because even, even these vents do give a decent amount of heat, and I, c I, I suppose I can... I can just put some, yeah, I'll just put some, I'll make sure I'm not too far away from this. So let's say like 300-ish meters away. And if I want to put geothermal generators down, I'll just connect them to the base with those electricity pylons or whatever they are. Delta. Yeah, so there's a there's a there's a, there's a nice flat bit here, so I can probably have like a moon pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll put it here. I've found the spot. Multi-purpose room. Let me just see if I can. Because I like stacking the multi-purpose rooms. Yes, yeah, so we'll have one there. And I'm going to I'm going to stack it the opposite way I normally do. I'll have the top one with the power generation and the seawater extraction and stuff in it. And the bottom one is where I'll have my base. And I was just figuring out how and where to position it with where I wanted to put this exit. Because then I can have a compartment coming off of that that will connect to the moon pool eventually. Well, actually, you don't have to put one down. You put the moon pool down, it will connect itself. 
<coughs> okay, well, I have to go back and get some more. Get some more titanium. Well, I know, I can just collect some titanium. Idiot. Let's collect some titanium. If we can find enough, make another one on top of it. And possibly even. Possibly even a door. What do we need for the door? Quartz. I don't remember whether it was quartz or glass. Oh, and there's table coral. There's table coral near here as well. Sweet. Yeah, there's table coral. There's that the 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 the, the seaweed thing. Yeah, well, it's nice. This is this is a nice nice choice, I think. We're over the caverns, not too far from Delta. Yeah, I like this. It's probably going to be one of my favourite base spots from the ones I've made over the time I've been playing this. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. Great. I need six for the thing. Um, yeah, let's go up using oxygen all the while. We need at least one spot to get more titanium and then at least another spot to get a piece of quartz if we can find one. Let's just bite the bullet, shall we? Let's eat some more and drink some more. We make some space. Hope that one of these rocks has titanium in it. See, it's at time like at times like these that you hope it's titanium. And instead, yeah, it gives you copper. Yeah? No, oh, okay, this time it was titanium. Okay, so let's make the other multi-purpose room on top of that one. Like so. Yeah, and this is, this is, this is nice. This is, I was about to say this is nice because I could put something else out on this edge, but probably the only thing I can put out there is a scanner room. Put the scanner room on that side. Get some oxygen. So now I've got room. I need to get a little bit more titanium and then a piece of quartz if I can find it. So I can make a door. Quartz. Yep, that's enough. Where are we going to put the door, though? That's also another thing to always contemplate. Yeah, we'll have moon pool coming off on this side, because then we've got a flat area, flattish floor, that we can walk up to jump into the moon pool with the prawn. And enough space to maneuver with the sea truck and on this side we'll put the scanner room so then i don't know whether to put the door there or have it over here and then have a window there because if you put a window here then you're just looking at the wall i think we'll put it here we'll put the door here Hatch. There we go. Sweet. Now we also need a minimum of power. I've got the copper. I just need two titanium and two quartz. Let's go up for some more oxygen quickly, shall we? I'll collect all the titanium that I can for now as well, because I'm going to want to make a couple of storage lockers and some stairs on the inside to get up to the next level. Yeah, of course it's copper. Whenever you want titanium, you don't get it. There you go. Spoke too soon. Warning. Crossing 100 meters. Oh, fall again. Oxygen efficiency decreased. 
We have enough for a solar panel, though, don't we? No, we need one more quartz. God damn it. Mm. I don't like wasting these. Never mind, we'll go up and get some more oxygen. We've got enough titanium to make a locker. So we'll go in, make a locker, empty out some stuff from the inventory, and then go out and get some more. Will it allow me to put a foundation here? Oh, it will. Sweet. Yeah, so like worst case scenario, that's in line. And I can even put it, oh, sweet. Yeah, so worst case scenario, if it, I, I find it to be, you know, annoyingly angled here. I can put foundation down, and then that's a nice flat place that I can uh, walk on and jump off of up into the moon pool. And then I can actually have like the little exterior garden beds in there. Yeah, I, I keep prattling on about planning what I want to do that I run out of. Start running out of air again. What did I want to do? Make a locker inside. Make a locker inside. Come on, let's get that get out get that out of the way before we fish brain forget again. Put that one up in the moon pool eventually when we get get a moon pool. I always bring this one with me because it's a, another poster, but I don't like this one. It, it looks a bit shit to me, if you ask me. Sea truck. That's another big one. Yeah, I have to move, keep calm, and keep trucking one. A little. There we go. And then Mercury 2 poster. That's the entrance. That's the moon pool. That's the window. That's the scanner room. I guess I can put it there. <coughs> now I can go and look for some more quartz. And titanium because I used it up. There we go. And I've got a battery charger too, so I need to make one of those toot sweet. Got the blueprint for it already, so I can start charging batteries instead of having to make them all the time. Crossing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, I can scan these fragments, can't I? Because I've already got that, and it'll give me titanium. Nice. Don't need to make any batteries right now. More salt there. That's good to know. I picked a pretty nice spot, I reckon. A whole bunch of resources around, not too far away.
three, six, seven titanium. Two more spaces. Of course, it's copper. There we go. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Now we can make the uh, solar panel. At least one, maybe two. On top of the uh, multi-purpose room. And at least the base will be powered, so we have oxygen. Thinking again. Am I going to want to put more on there? I don't think so. If push comes to shove, I can even line the walls of the moon pool with things like lockers and cabinets. And the only the, the the oh, but one thing that is a good thing to plan ahead for there's the there's the large room that big uh, rectangle shaped room that you get eventually. I I don't remember what it's called. I should probably yeah plan for that. Yeah, then when I get that blueprint, I'll have that here. And then have the moon pool attached to that on one of the sides. And then I'll definitely need to make some foundation. But well, anyway. Let's see. Where are we? Solar panel. I do have enough things for it, don't I? Yeah, I do. I don't like these things being so close. It's a little silly, but never mind. Yeah, we'll put that on here. Easiest way. Ugh. Come on. And it nice and centered. No, that's going to have to be good enough. Okay. I don't. What am I missing to make another one? Oh, I can make another one. Might find it. Right there. There we go. Now I should have power. And we have oxygen. Sweet. Finish making that, and we can move all of this to the other one. This is going to be titanium. I'm a bit of a left-handed monkey wrench when it comes to placement. I'm quite particular. <coughs> this is going to be copper and other odds and ends for now. Oh. It would, would it? What the hell was that? Was that the, the sound of one of those monster things out there? Did you hear that? That was weird. Um, I go into the scanner room less than any other room. So I'll put the ladder to upstairs here. Because that's always a an odd thing to be having to walk around. Yeah, and then what do I need for the bioreactor? A wiring kit, lubricant, and titanium. Well, I've got that stuff over at the other place, but what I wanted to make actually was a chic plant pot. And I don't have enough of that either. So we'll go back and we'll grab our titanium. Got lots of it over at the base. I don't have the light on, do I? I do turn it off. That would be nice Is that if there was an indicator. Because you can totally forget that you've got the light on during the day and then that sucks the battery more.
I don't want to pick anything up because I'm taking away slots of things that I can bring from the other place. Well, I was on 22%, I believe, when I left, and I'm now at 18. That's 4% battery. So I've got enough to make a couple of trips back and forwards. Grab some titanium. What else was it that I needed? I wanted a other thing. Lubricant, a wiring kit. We'll bring the copper. We've got more copper there. We've got enough, but I'll take another water because I want to drink one now. And then we'll fill up with the rest of the titanium that's out here. Like so. Oh! Idiot, I didn't put the bloody beacon down. We'll be able to find it, no problem. Yeah, we were roughly 300 meters away from Delta Station, so we're still a little ways away. Is that it? Yeah, that's it there. And even if even if those monster guys do start having a bit of a go at the base, we just we could put in some. Yeah, that's that's something you need to plan ahead for because you can't put the you can't make the uh, walls reinforced after you've put something on it. So that would be something I might want to go ahead and do before I fill the walls with things. Do I have any lead? Yeah, I've got some lead, and I'll have to move these. But I'm gonna put. Oh, I've got everything for a battery charger. We'll do that now then. Should I put it there? Yeah, I'll put it there, and I can put a locker above it to keep charged batteries and tools in. Yeah, and then a locker. Above it. Right there. I don't really like that placement, but yeah, it is what it is. And then we'll put the battery in. Also frees up some room. Yeah, that's those large monsters outside. That's gonna that's gonna get annoying pretty quick. We're gonna have to put a jukebox in to make get some music. <laughs> so, the, the sound of those guys doesn't annoy us to hell. Yeah, we'll take this down then, and we'll. Oh, yeah, I have to move. I have to. Oh, make the chic plant plot first, you twat. And at least that's out of the way as well. We come up the ladder. That's where the Bio generator is going to go. Bio reactor. Yeah, so we're going to need the lit wiring kit. At least we've got some other stuff out. And then that's where we're going to put the water purification units because they go on the, these funny things on the edges. And then we can put some chic plant pots here like so and we can grow those plants in them to feed the bioreactor and now we can take the rest of this out and disassemble that and we will oh it's lithium not lead I did find some lithium though, didn't I? I must have left that at the other place. Okay, never mind. What else are we going to have here? Uh, well, that's not that's not going to stay there because I want lockers on that wall. I don't like the fact that that's so high. If that's high, I want to continue that trend on. It's 
nice that I can... Oh, that's going to be a connecting door anyway. But if I put it up that high, then maybe I can put a shelf underneath it and keep things on it on display. Yeah, we'll do that. Because if that's going to be a window, then I can put my bed here. Yeah, sweet. Okay, that's a plan. We'll put these up high. I don't normally, because I don't like the way it looks that high, but I'll live with it for now, because... Let's see what it looks like. We'll put the shelf. Will it let me? It'll let me. It's just that's in the way there. Can I put two shelves on this wall? I can. Oh, just a second. Someone's calling me.
frequency 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, I'm back. Brother had something to ask of me, a bit of a favour, and instead of just coming out with the ask, he's got a whole fucking story leading up to what happened and why, and winds, to, winds up at the ask five minutes later. Bottom line is he's rubbed some of the paint off of his license plate, I need to touch it up. I was cleaning the license plate with thinners because there's a lot of soot building up on it from the exhaust. And while he was cleaning the soot off, he cleaned some of the paint off. Now it looks a little dodgy. I have to touch it up with some paint. So what did I want? I've got more than enough titanium. I wanted some lithium. I do seem to remember picking up some lithium. If I did, it's probably in here. Yeah, there we go, lithium. Take all of that. Take the lead as well, because we need that for foundations. And then, what else? How much fiber mesh do I need for a bed? One. That's great, because I have one. And um, we'll take that other battery to charge it. There we go. And I didn't put a beacon out again, but never mind, we know roughly where we are. I have to remember to put a beacon down. This game relaxes me. I love being in the water. I love swimming and I love being in the water. And actually, I'm doing my um, scuba diving accreditation or test or whatever it is. So I love, I, I, I absolutely love being underwater. And playing this game that completely relaxes me because it's just the scenery, the sound of everything. There you see, I've gone and lost it. There's the base, there's the base. We're going towards the Delta Station Dock, there it is. Yeah, of course you have to run down right now. Let's take the battery out of the scanner. Put that in there. Well, let's, let's unload the batteries actually and then put them in here to charge and unload that one 
that in there to charge. Got one more. Put that back in there. And, well, I'm going to need that. So, base modules, reinforce. Why can't I put that there? Why not? Don't be a tool. I've got everything for it, haven't I? Yeah, lithium and titanium. Why can't I put that there? It shouldn't matter whether you're inside or outside. It doesn't. Why won't it let me put that there? I guess I'll have to put it on these ones then. That's odd. I haven't had that happen before. But I can remember. This is just to increase the strength because putting a bunch of other things on it is going to decrease the strength. And I want to do this. What? It won't let me do that either. I have, I still have everything I need for it. Why won't it let me do that? I can put it there. I can put it there. See, and now it will let me put it there. That's weird. There must be some, like... There must be... There has to be some reasoning behind what... Like, the logic as to what you can place and where and when. It just seems very odd as to why I wasn't allowed to place it then. there then. Yeah, and now I can put things on the wall that I want to put here. You can build on that wall, but you can't build the reinforcement wall behind these once they're on the wall. Watch that. Do I have everything for the thing? Two quartz. I didn't bring any quartz over with me, did I? I've got the titanium, so I need copper. And I need two quartz. Let's see. Get some quartz. I don't need the scanner right now. So we'll put that battery in. I need at least two quartz, but preferably more if I can find it. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Some salt. Ah, I took the stuff out of the scanner, didn't I? Oxygen. Come on, where's all the quartz? What's that all about? Oh, light <laughs> and shadow. Okay, we need some more oxygen because we're messing around for too long down here. Nice little cave to explore later. Oh, and this is where the alien thing entrance is. Seek fluid intake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my mother, you are. I should have just gone home in it. I would have gone I would have gone home by now. Let's just go home and bring some quartz, shall we? I'm just not used to seeing things in this level of detail. What are you? Sea truck fragment that I can't scan because I took the battery out. Oh, look, there's quartz. We're going home to get some. Come back to that sea truck fragment. Oh, there's some more. By the time I get there, I'll be full and I can turn around again. Yep, and there's some more. I want to make that window in the bed as well. Quickly. And I can offload some of the... Some of the... 
decorative items onto the bed. On quartz. Take all water because we have to drink it. So Vital signs stabilizing. Take another one. I've got to eat and drink something. And then that was the quartz, wasn't it? Oh, that was the copper. There we go. And, yet again, we didn't put the beacon down. And mind you. If I put the beacon at the top of the base, that should be far enough away. Am I going? I'm going after the wrong bloody marker, aren't I? Where's the Delta Station? Emergency supply. There it is. I was going the right way. Okay. It should be far enough away from where I'm doing things day to day that I, sh I won't hear the beeping. Okay. And it was window opposite the door there. Oh, I have to actually make glass first. To do that, one of them. I'm going to need to use some of the quartz I need for the window. <laughs> Never mind. We'll get there. We'll get there. Glass. Glass. You know, we have a nice view. Damn, that thing sounds weird. <laughs> okay, so now we make the. Oh, not Fred's bed, Emmanuel's bed. Lovely. Far back. Up. Go. One missing now. Any of them. Go. Dude, these things get that close. They sound really weird from inside here. <laughs> They sound really weird. You hear that? I'm going to put another window in. I'm going to put another one there. This is this is a nice view. Having the, having this panorama of a view because then I can put a I can put a I can put a executive desk right there like that. And I'll put a bench there once I've got the blueprint for it. Have a chair here, sit, got windows. Okay, so where was I? Oh, I can disassemble these as well if I need to paint them. There we go. Don't really need those right now. And I was disassembling this so I can put reinforcement here. It'll let me. And it, oh! Oh! 
freaking knob. That's why it, that's why it wasn't letting me do that. Let's put some more of the thing in here. Take that on and off. Let's assemble that. Like so. And then we'll do it. There we go. Sweet. Now the place is nice and strong. I shouldn't have problems with things attacking it. Put that back there. Maybe here. There's lots of back and forth. It's always just I, I, I'm, I'm not putting those shelves there. I don't I don't like that. Yeah, it's going to be lower than the one on the other wall. We're just going to have to live with it. Wall. Didn't look as odd before. Yeah, it extends past that weirdly. Uh, well, eventually I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna get rid of that. Eventually I'm gonna put the other type of battery charger up there anyway, so or we'll switch, we'll trade places, I don't know, but then I'm going to put the lockers at the height I normally put them at, where I normally put them. Story. Yeah. Run out of it there. Okay, so now we start, now we can properly start bringing things across. We've got places to put everything. That's copper. Yeah, then we'll put lead in here. Lead. And then here, we'll just put the miscellany for now. Oh, and I brought the lubricant to make the um, fire reactor. We'll make a wiring kit as well, because it needs one of them. Yeah, finish making that. Sweet. These aren't grown yet anyway. Yeah, and I can put the uh, things down. That's the Mercury poster, which I'm going to put. Where am I going to put that now? I'll put them on windows. That's going to be a connecting, put it there, we'll just slap them on there for now, framed picture, oh, <laughs> never mind, it's night time anyway, at least, at least we'll get some sleep. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to right click. So I'll put that picture down. Nice and rested and hungry and thirsty. That's why I don't like sleeping. You always wake up needing to eat and drink. Oh. Took the batteries out of everything, didn't I? Yeah, I can unload. Damn, you guys are noisy. <laughs> I was complaining about the beacon, and now I've got that to contend with. <laughs> Keep pressing the wrong button. Unload the battery from that. Unload the battery. I said unload the battery. Unload the battery from that. And charge them. We'll unload the battery from that as well. So it's at max. Yeah. And then what do I need batteries? I need that I need a battery in that right now. I'm gonna need a battery in that right now. And I'm gonna need a battery in that going backwards and forwards. 
sweet. And I can scan this, I didn't know. Oh, cool. I don't I don't remember ever seeing that drawing before. Or at least not like this. That's cool. And inventory. Put the shaving kit there. There was something else, wasn't there? Well, we'll get those later when we go to the Omega and the, the and the oh I can't remember what I, I, it's not Alpha I think it's like Omega and the Gamma site I'm not sure anyway when we go to one of those there'll be some more pictures and things inside one of the one of the buildings I'll put Miscellany in there you can't make the um, med Med, med kit making thing in this one, can you? No. We're going to make one of those, though, so that, that uh, I'm going to need to go and find some diamonds sooner or later. Uh, yeah, bringing stuff over. We've got enough space in our inventory. Bring. Oh, oh, see? Nearly did it again. Nearly did it again. Beacon. And we need for the beacon, copper and a titanium, neither, well we've got copper, but we don't have any titanium, oh, there's a thing right here, and there's a, oh, I already picked that up, there was a sea truck fragment here, but I must have scanned that to get the materials out of it already. I saw the shadow, but the, where is he? I see the shadow, but I don't see it. Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, you see, they do that feeding thing right where I built the bloody base. That probably is a good thing that I reinforced it because uh, it's likely they're going to damage it when they bump into it when they're doing that. Because they're not going to attack it. I mean, if they were going to attack it, they would have attacked it by now. Yeah, I've got the copper, I've got titanium. Go in and make the beacon. Seek fluid intake. Beacon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll drink when I get back to the other base. I've got more water there. Shit. The bastard attacked me. Did you see that? They haven't attacked me until now. I don't like you now. I liked you until now. Home. Okay. And then we will, in the PDA, change the colour of it. So we can tell it apart from the others. Make that green. Sweet. Now we can go and get some stuff. Oh, I should bring the grav trap as well, because then at least I can start catching fish here. By the looks of it, there's a, quite a lot of arctic peeper in the area, so I'll be nice, well stocked on that. And there's some salt down below, which I haven't picked up yet. Also good. <sighs> Keeping hydrated.
It'd be cool if you could roll, but if you weren't always right way up, like control how you are positioned like that. I, I, I'm tired. I can't talk anymore. I'll shut up. <laughs> and if you could recycle stuff, I, there's there's I think there's a recycler eventually. I think. Or is that just a trash can? I can't remember now. Yeah, we're going to want more titanium. There it is. And then we'll start clearing out whatever's in this locker as well. Like so. Take a little less gold and a little more silver in case we need to make a wiring kit. Thermos. Oh. Actually... Oh, I did. I got the quartz already. Yeah, because I wanted to make some glass. What's the other new things? Advanced materials, ruby and spiral plant clipping. You wouldn't believe how long it took me to figure out what the spiral plant clipping was. I was looking for a red plant that had that, like, spirally look to it. And I didn't find it anywhere. It took me ages to realize what that was. Anyway. Oh, would you shut up? You and your fluid. We'll eat something because we also need to eat. And then we'll drink. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to catch some we're gonna have to catch some fish. We'll take the grav trap with us as well because we've got enough space left now. Now we can make another window. I'm going towards the wrong beacon. I put a beacon down and I don't even travel towards it. Look at that, idiot. Yeah, see, we're, we're relatively close to these nice creeper vine forests. To the caverns, to the delta. Not too far away from where there's a hydro, uh, what is it, a geothermal vent. And I can connect that to my base via the uh, electrical pylons. This is a no, I, except for those huge monsters feeding right outside my window, which I thought they were deeper in. My uh, my memory of it from previous playthroughs. Is what uh, is that they they were more over where those vents are, not this far out. But anyway, uh, yeah. See, there's Arctic with peepers here. So we'll put the grav trap right there, and we won't just have to come out the door to catch fish. Cool. And there's exactly what I was looking for. Sweet. Oh, there's another one. Come here. Warning. 30 seconds Perfect. Of oxygen remaining. Okay. And then I want to make some glass. We can make that last window. Like so. Got a lovely view. Could even put some floodlights when I find the blueprints for those eventually, and then actually light it up, and this whole thing will be visible day and night. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so that, that's where the moon pool's going to go. That's where the scanner room's going to go. What do I need for the scanner room? I only need a table coral, and then I can put that up already. Cool. We'll do that. Scanner room. I think I need to do that from outside. If it'll let me place that there. Well, would you look at that? I'll be a monkey's uncle. If I'd placed the entire base a meter to the left, it would be okay. It would be okay. It's just my luck. It's just my luck. Yeah, and I have to get—I'd have to get rid of that 
reinforced thing if it'll even let me uh, it won't let me connect it to that because that comes out at an angle can't put it there because the window's there so I either put it here and then uh, I have to change my plans of where the moon call goes or I have to connect it to the lower the higher higher one not multi-purpose room I have to connect it to that guess that's gonna have to be it then isn't it never mind Resources like lithium or copper or titanium if you need help finding it <laughs> for whatever reason. <laughs> no one likes a sarcastic computer. <laughs> Plants should be grown by now as well. But I digress. We'll put the titanium away and we'll put the miscellaneous in here for now. And then we will make some water. I wanna I wanna pres I wanna preserve the rest of those peepers, so I have to go down and get the salt that's in the in the little crevice below us. And that's the sound of the grav trap. That is definitely getting moved. I'm not listening to that hum constantly. You hear that? That's the grav trap. I didn't think about that. I could put it out here. And then I, I, could, I, I could see what's going on with it and what it's core. We'll see, we'll see how loud it is there. Anything interesting in its catch? That's a boomerang very interesting all right all right all right come on yeah let's put it right there oh you brought in a rock well it's not going to catch anywhere near as much how much can you hear it hardly hear it so I can put it closer. Let's put it a little closer. Oh look and it caught a peeper straight away. Well, let's go inside because th things sound different when you're inside. I can't hear it here, but I hear it here. Then you can see it from there. Maybe I should put it over there. Yeah, see, because there's whatchamacallits. There's bladder fish as well, and I can still see it if I look out of this window. Yeah, we'll put it down there where that school of fish is swimming. We'll get there we'll get there and at least i can go and get the uh salt while i'm at it because that's where the, that's the direction the salt's in yeah so when we look out of that window we want to be able to see it so if we just if we put it right here that should catch a wider array of things and that's going to pull in some oh i thought for a minute it's going to pull in some of the materials here Oh man, look at that. That wall's full of materials. Oh, and I've got space for it. Cool. Table coral. This is one thing I'm always running after. Oh, lithium. Quartz. It's not materials. Where's my torch? I took the battery out of that and I didn't replace it yet. Get this. This and this, this. Let's go clean that wall. Is there anything over here? Yes, there is silver, 
possibly. Yep. Oh, and it's already caught some stuff. Sweet, another peeper. Come here, you little blighter. Where is it? There it is. That a fish. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. <sighs> I need that rebreather. That further extends the amount of time you can spend down below. Oh. Didn't spend enough time inside. Hurry up. There we go. Yeah, see the salt. Oh, shit! God damn, that scared the living shit out of me. Sorry. Had a spider descend right in front of me from the fucking ceiling. Jesus Christ, you scared the living shit out of me, you little fucker. You're gonna die, you know that. I don't do the fucking relocating of spiders. You die. You get squished to fuck. Especially if you. after scaring me senseless. I'm arachnophobic, but the little ones don't bother me. It's the, 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 it was more the the fact that it <laughs> let itself down from the ceiling on a on a on a thread right in front of my face, in front of the computer. <laughs> Warning: passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Don't want to pick these up right now. Got enough anyway. We'll harvest them, so to speak, for seeds once we make the uh, exterior grow beds. Oh, oh, there it is. I knew there was salt here somewhere. Anymore? Wanna go away? Warning. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. I always forget about that. Mind. We'll make it home in time. Okay, so now we can start preserving the fish. We've got, wow, we've got a bunch of peepers. We've got four salt, but we've got six peepers. So we're actually going to have a bit of a surplus. So we've got water. Cured peeper. Well, actually, we're hungry anyway, so we'll cure what we can cure, and we'll cook the rest. So we can eat it right now. Sorry, just ran out of cigarettes, opening up a new carton. <clears throat> I know, I know. I shouldn't smoke. It's Icos. And it's not as bad. Yeah, right. So we're going to have Oh, I should uh go upstairs and check on the plants. Those things have probably grown and I can eat some of those as well because that gives you water as well as some hunger relief, and I don't have to waste the peepers and the water that I made right now. And I can keep the surplus of peepers until I find more salt. Yeah, see, these are grown. Cool. Oh, bollocks. That's not staying like that. That is not staying like that. I forgot to pay attention to the... God damn, that's loud. I forgot to 
pay attention to the placement of the panel. There we go. So I come up the stairs and I can access it directly. Just like that. So we can take that and put it in there. And that will going to make us lots and lots of energy. Yeah. We'll leave it at that so we've got at least one left already grown to put on the thing. Oh, we go. And we're at the scanner room. Three, I see 300 meters is the base scanning range, I remembered correctly. Ah, and we've already got diamond on it. Sweet. What do I need for the hard chip magnetite? Is there any magnetite on there already? No magnetite. We've got salt. That's nice. We've got gel sacks. Gold. Heat area. Yeah, let's have a look at the heat. What, what the heat areas are in comparison to us. We are. We are. Where are we? You see, it's only, quote unquote, only at 300 meters. And it's already doing a great job of scanning the uh, of scanning the caverns under the mountain where Delta Station is. So you see that this high area at this end is God damn! You guys are loud. Can you shut up? <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> this area over here is the is the mountain. You see, it's where Delta Station dock is. That's over here somewhere, yeah? And these caves here are where the um, where the mine is. So when I put two range extenders in there to get it to go another 100 meters, I should be able to see the entire cave system, see if I've missed any lovely things, because that place is full of rubies and diamonds. But, yeah. And we were looking at heat areas. Are they the only? Are they the only serious heat areas? Ah, see, it's there's still more showing up, scanning that area. Well, okay, we'll leave it to do its thing, because that's making more than enough. Yeah, it's making more than enough power to keep that running. We'll, just, we'll let it do its thing. So it does take some time. And what else did we want to do? We wanted to continue making storage. Area module. There. Put the lead, gold next to the lead. Don't have any on us right now, but never mind. And then we'll put the lithium here. So, well, actually, I normally do that as gold, silver, gold slash silver in the beginning, so we don't exactly have a lot either. Copper, we'll put that in the miscellaneous, we'll put that in the titanium. Now we can put that in its place, like so. Yeah, that's going to be the entrance. Oh, that was going to be the entrance to the thing. So seeing as I've had to put that one higher up, I can put things on that wall now. Cool. But do I want to put another window there? To have a nice all-around view? Or should I put some stuff on the wall? Because then that, that's still going to be the entrance to the moon pool. Sure. Yeah, question is, do I want to put a window there, or do I want to put... Let's have a look what a window would look like. What we can see. God damn, you guys are loud. Can you shut up? Get a room. Let's see what a window... Oh, oh no, no, that's a, nice, that's a nice view. We'll leave that as a window. Yeah, we can see that... 
We can see. Oh, it, it caught that big thing. <laughs> oh, poor thing. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I have the opportunity to scan it at least. Poor thing. Look at that. It swims away and just barely doesn't make it away. Oh, I've got another peeper on it as well, though. I can see it from here. Okay. And then we continue making... Oh, and that's taken. Uh, yeah, that goes in the miscellaneous. I wish there was like a floor locker. You can find the bags, but the bags are a bit of a, I mean, it's a bit weird, yeah? A real life bag, you can put things in the bag and then pick up the bag. But here, the bag, you can pick it up and you can place it somewhere so you can have it as like a storage thing, but you can't pick up the bag once you've got things in it, just like the uh, floating storage locker thing. I, under, I get that. I, that. That's understandable. It's like a big, solid thing, but a bag is supposed to be the kind of thing you can carry around. I always thought that was a bit weird. Uh, let's get titanium, titanium. I want to make... What do I need for that? I need copper. I need, I, I need to get some tunes because at least I can have it on like a low to medium volume and then that might help drown out some of the sounds of these guys because they sound like they're mating or something. Bloody annoying. Yeah, we'll put that there in front of the window. Oh, quartz. Yeah? It's not exactly... Ob it's not obst obstructing a lot. <laughs> no one said survival couldn't be funky. have one there and of course I can't fit one there anyway what tunes do we have is that all I've got right now I'd much rather have that running than have to put... Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, okay. Sweet. It would be nice if you could control it from the PDA. We'll have it around there. And that's... It's not too loud that it's annoying for the, stri for the, for the streaming. But it should help drown out the sounds of those assholes mating. Well, they're actually feeding, but... <clears throat> yeah, let's put this away, put this away, and we can go and get some more materials from the other place. Oh, and I should be able to, I should be able to pick up some more stuff from here as well. Or did I actually pick everything up? I think there was a, there was a... Nutrient, no, water. Oh, cool, sweet. I need that anyway. There's more stuff down here, I think. Or not. Oh, look, salt. Cool. Like a cat being distracted by a laser beam. Okay, let's go and get, let's actually go do what we wanted to go and do and bring some stuff back with us. <coughs> Yeah, there's tons of materials around here. Sweet. A whole bunch more there. Cool. But well, we're not going to be short on materials for building the stuff then. And once we get past a certain point, everything is going to be new for... Something hit the... Something hit us. Uh, a lot of it's going to be new for me as well because uh, 
I've never completed it. I mean, they only just brought out the update where you can actually complete it. And so, take coral. We'll, yeah, I can make an organics chest. We'll take that. I've got enough copper there for now. That's empty. Titanium. Actually, what I want to do, I don't like leaving these. Oh, there's batteries there as well. I don't like leaving these things just floating here. Is that full? Well, we'll still got an uncured peeper. I'll cure that and then turn that other thing into water and have another drink. I need it to make some room so I can bring the uh, that's 35, that's 25 so I can bring the lockers inside because I don't like leaving those things just floating out there want to Oh look, there's enough, there's enough room to put all the lockers in there and some other stuff, so just do that so we can pick up more than one at a time. No, I said pick it up, not open it. Not empty, that one's empty. Yeah. So, leave these here for now. I can't plant them yet anyway. Yeah? That seems like... Still got a little room. I will take the batteries. Yeah, there you go. I wish the... Um, the module that's for the sea truck, I can't remember the name of it, the one where you, you have uh, the fabricator module, there you go, I remembered fabricator module, I wish that was, easy, that was easier to find like you found that quicker but I think that that's a depth that's not difficult to get to, it's just a little bit of a bitch to get to at the beginning I mean I'd need to I'm, yeah, I need to I need to put a mobile uh, mobile vehicle assembly thing up on the surface here above us. Yeah, uh, you need to make a sea truck and at least a depth module Mark 1, and you need a rebreather to get to it. Oh, cool. And then the outside sounds are basically drowned out. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. It'll be, it'll be even nicer once we actually get more songs. That away. Gold, silver. Yeah, we'll put batteries in things that need batteries. Switch them all out again. Yeah, this doesn't have a battery in it. Yeah, and then we can take these out. So and put those in. We'll put it. We'll put these in here for now. We'll keep one, and then this can go in the miscellaneous. Actually, we will get some more titanium. Make some lockers over here. Go. Oh, no, because that's where the moon pool's going. Idiot. Well, well, we will. It'll let me put it over the poster. Okay. Put one there. And 
North, but one there. We're going to move these posters eventually anyway. I just wanted to put them. They're going to line the walls of the moon pool. I just put them somewhere so they're not taking up inventory space. We'll make one that's food slash water. Yeah. And one that is, no, we don't need to go in it. One that is organics. So it's out of the way for now. And organics means these kinds of things. Like that. And we'll put leftover peepers in there. The uncooked ones. We'll check on the power. Cool. Yeah, that's only used that much power because I've had the scanner room running, which is something I should actually check on. Let's see if we've... Yeah, there's a bunch of heat zones in the uh, tunnels in the mines. We, we should be... Where, where are we? Where's the dot that is us? That... No, that's... Something else. Where are we? We're supposed to be in the center, aren't we? Ah, there it is. There's us. Yeah. And then... And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then... And then. There we are. That's the opposition dot. So if we're looking out that way, I seem to remember the distance between each of these lines is something like 25 meters, I think, 20 meters. Oh God, stop moving so fast. Okay, so we're there. We are looking towards Delta Station. Yeah. I could have sworn those also help measure distance, but obviously not. If that's 300 meters from there to where it can scan to, and the nearest heat signature is about a little less than two thirds of the way there, that's 200 meters away seems a little excessive because that's almost a delta station but no uh, uh that, that, that 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 i guess i guess that's right because the first the first heat signature is one of those geothermal vents that's in a cre uh, crevice that i was talking about that i'd put three or four geotherm generators on so i guess if i want to do that it's going to have to be the same one that i used the last time but there's two of them there which i wasn't aware of i thought there was only one so i can put a lot there and then you just put the little electricity pylon things on the on the, the wall and the, the floor and they connect up and they connect to the base eventually. Okay, well, we'll turn the scanning off because we don't want it to use a whole bunch of electricity for nothing. At least now we know what's what. Anything new? Titanium? No, that was it really. We're going to need to find some diamonds sooner or later. What was that for? That was for the modification station, wasn't it? And I can make basically everything else. Scan for some diamond then. Because then I can make the... I have to go... Down. And I can make the... A vehicle bay, which is a titanium ingot computer chip. One, two, three, four, five, I believe. Ten. That's five. Titanium ingots. Oh, you can pin them here, can't you? Yeah. Computer chip. Gold, copper wire. There also a no, there wasn't. 
but lubricant. I need to go out and I need to get some more of those weed things. You can hold one, two, three, four, five of them. Okay, that's enough now. They were on the way back to the base, the original base. I believe. Oh no, there's some over there. Well, I don't need fibers right now, so I just need to collect the little things growing off of them. If there's any... Oh, come off it. There's none growing here with those things on them. Or is it just around the corner? And go away. Ah, uh, there we go. Yep. So we got five. Got space for two more things. Where's the green? There it is. Pick something up on our way home. It's down here. Oh, another one of these. I'll make Warning. it. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Go. Lubricant. Two. Three. I've got a whole bunch of rubber. I'll make lubricant out of all of this. I made a whole bunch of rubber the last time I went to get this stuff. And then we can put the rest of the lubricant in there. Then we need a computer chip, which is copper. Picked up the copper and the table coral organics. Oh, there's two of them. Now we can unpin that recipe. Hurry up, cut it up. Go. And the next thing I'm going to want to make is a sea truck upgrade uh, enamel glass, two of them. And there's no, what do you want to call it? No stalk. Oh, wait a minute. No, they, they changed the. Um, they changed the recipe for an for enamel glass, but I oh I can see it. There it is lead and diamond. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to go looking for the diamond anyway. Seek fluid intake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Eat some of these weird nut shaped things. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. Like so. And then we'll put this out on the surface above us. Well, I can release it here and it'll just float up. Cool. <laughs> I always went to the surface and released it before. There we go. And now I want to pin the recipe for one of those. I've got the lead. I can make the power cell. Is that an advanced circuit? That's an advanced wiring kit. Okay. And I can make the other one as well. well let's go and get 
the rest of the things from the other base because we're going to need those. So I think I still left some titanium there. <laughs> and if we have space left in our inventory, then we'll continue picking things up on our way back because that's quite a lot. We'll get some ribbon. Yeah, see, this is where those things were. This is the field I was looking for. I just thought it was closer. Yeah, we'll pick up everything we want to pick up from the starter's base. And then whatever room we have left, we'll fill up with stuff we'll pick up on our way back to our new home. In preparation for making that. I just want to double check while I'm here. What does it take to make an advanced wiring kit? Computer chip. And I'm going to need more table coral for that because I've only got like three left. Yeah, that'll go in the organics. There's nowhere else to store things in here. And then we'll empty these last two things out. That's copper. And we'll put you inside. I'm not going to have much room left to take things with me then, am I? I thought I'd have more room. Mind you. Got left in here. Well, I want that. I can't remember what to use that for, but we'll take it with us. We'll drink one of those. So we can... Take that. We don't care about that. We'll take that. So, I'm going to have to do a little bit of material collecting after we've dropped this off. It would be, nice, it would be a good idea to bring... Uh, to bring a locker with us. <clears throat> at least one. Just drop it. Drop it at the at the door outside. Have a bit of storage there because I could keep things like seeds and stuff in that for when I make the exterior grow beds. Then I wouldn't have to waste space inside on that. Then I could just have the I could have one or two of the lockers floating here outside, holding the seeds. Welcome yeah. Aboard, I think I'll do that. Anyway. Put all of that away. That's quite a lot of copper we got there. And then we'll put this and that. Gamics. I guarantee you I'm going to get bored of this song before I find another one, and I'm just going to turn it off. Anyway. Yeah, table corals are down here. Among other places. But I seem to remember seeing some here. Oh, and ribbon plants. That's enough ribbon plants to make two batteries for a power cell, but that's also something I'm probably going to want to make more of. One, two, four. How many do I have now? So that's one power cell, two power cells. Yeah, okay, so I have one and I have a one to switch out. Yeah, and then I'll get table corals rest. One table coral. Any more? A whole bunch there. Ooh, look at that, that's really full of them. Sweet. Come on, come on. You're coming home with me. That should actually do us for a while. There's oxygen there. What are you? Sea truck fragment. Yeah, I thought as much. I wasn't going to get away with it. Mind you. Salt, can I pick that up? Yeah. Oh, it's still got six. Okay. So if we see any more salt or table. Oh, there's two of them stuck now. Poor guys. Anyway. 
30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm going to need rubber as well, because that's what you make the uh, thing with. Take some copper. Battery. Battery. Now we can make the power cell. Actually, I'm going to need two more copper, because I want to make a replacement cell as well. So I'm going to need another rubber as well. Power cell. Three lead. Do I have three? Oh, I think I, I used that on the... Um, or did I? No, I didn't. Cool. Got the lead. And then one, two glass. And then I need... Advanced wiring kit. Like so. Lights are flashing, so I think we're going to need to. Oh no. It's odd. So, what do we have? Yeah, we just need the advanced wiring kit now. So, that's some silver. And some gold, I think, because we need a chip. Then we're going to need, I've got the table coral. We're going to need wiring kit. Copper wire. Got everything else. Go. Copper wire. And a chip. Advanced wiring kit. Cool. Let's go and make a sea truck. And then we'll go to sleep. Get some shut eye. A nice little scene there, mountain, little planetoid in the background. There we go. Whee! Away. Okay, so it's basically go and get materials and stuff and explore because I want to get the uh, the modules to the sea truck. We've got a spare battery for both things. Well, we've got charged batteries, so we can put that charge. Take that one out. Everything else is full. I don't need the repair tool. That's just going to be taking up space. Put that in there for now. I did have some extra salt, didn't I? Yeah. To cure those other two peepers. Yeah, we want a C truck depth upgrade. 
and that's Plasteel. What was the Plasteel? Lithium and the Titanium ingot. Two. Two lithium and one titanium ingot. I need one of those. Okay. It's more. I need. I need. I need to go and get the diamonds. Okay. So we'll sleep. Jukebox blaring right next to us. I'm going to turn it off. Or should I just turn it down? It's starting to get a little tedious. It drowns their sound out, but because it's just the same song constantly, it is starting to get a little tedious. <laughs> Once we get more songs, it won't be much of a there, and then we can hear them again. Once we get more songs, it's not going to be so much of a problem. And you guys are loud. Yeah, diamond. Diamond, diamond, diamond. Diamond dagger. Nice to meet you. Yeah, don't need anything there. So we'll have that for breakfast. Drink a little water. Go and check out our grav trap. Any bladder fish? Yeah, there's a bladder fish. Come here. It's running a bit low on me. Oh, that was, oh I thought it was one of those spirally things. Anyway, getting distracted again. Picking up materials. Warning. Crossing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, yeah. Those reef sharks. Papa. Up his boobs. Oh no, the bladder fish. Come here. Silver. So, yeah, that's the place that I found before. Some more quartz. I need to start exploring down there. Oh, there's one of those things. Is that one that I found before? But well, I can't get too distracted that I forget about my oxygen, and I can't see an oxygen plant nearby, so I'm gonna. You wanna go away? I'm gonna go straight up. Warning. Get some air. God damn! I've never seen them come up this high. He came straight after me. They normally stay lower down. Huh? Coming after me again. Uh, good luck. Yeah, let's go straight to that thing. Another one of his friends over there. Yes, yeah, we haven't we haven't found this one before. Please be a rebreather. It is! Ha ha ha! Sweet! Now we can go to lower depths without having problems. Well, it's going to be easier. Sea truck fragment. I'm going straight back just to make that. Because there's no point in trying to come down with the sea truck right now because it's crush depth is only 150 without that damn upgrade that I need the that I need the plasteel for which I need to go and look for diamonds for and even then it only upgrades it to I can't remember whether it's 200 or 250 or 350 but 150 meters on a submersible where you can easily swim to like 200 meters yourself no problem is a little annoying that should the the standard depth should be at least 300 meters and then increase let's say by like 200 meters and then or sorry increase by 300 meters 
and then increase by like, I don't know, 400 units on the other upgrades. Um, free breather. Yes, please. Fiber mesh wiring kit. Yeah, I'm going to have to go and get some more of those weeds. We'll turn those guys into water first though. Audio. Um, yeah, we'll make one of the titanium ingots that we're going to need. Serve space in the titanium chest. And we can put that in there. Copper and silver here. Like so. That goes in the old. And yeah, I have to go and get some of that weed. Make mesh so I can make my rebreather. That was such a win. That was such a win. That was not, It's nice that that was there. We're going to be able to go deeper for longer now. We'll take as much as we can hold in our inventory. Oh, harvested that one already. Cool. I have to take one more. Okay. I should really be going after other things as well, because as far as I remember, the pilot last known position is the um, is the uh, Mercury ship that went down, which was one of the extra little quest lines that was added in a previous update, and there's a bunch of really cool stuff in there. But if I go there without the laser cutter, it's going to be annoying, because I know there's a bunch of cool stuff that you can only get to behind doors you have to cut open. We'll, we'll, we'll do the other quest line first, the, the, normal, the normal main one. Okay, fiber mesh. That's the only thing that I can make with this, isn't it? Yeah. Just turn it all into fiber mesh. Should be able to make one more. Oh! Yeah. It's two, it's two, two, two creeper vines to one fiber mesh. Yeah, cool. And then we need a wiring kit and silicone rubber. So we've got silicone, and then we've got silver. And we need a wiring kit. And we can make a rebreather. Ooh, ooh. The rebreather facilitates extensive free diving by recycling air more efficiently at significant depth. Rebreather, breather. <laughs> you had to say that in a cynical voice, like it's some some bad cliche, didn't you? <laughs> okay. So what aren't we going to need right now? aren't going to need the habitat builder. We can put that in there. I don't mind bringing that much food and water along with me. I like having it. Yeah, we will pick some of these for breakfast. Do it now, then the time that passes while we're asleep will usually grow. I'm not yet tired enough to sleep. It's night time. I want to sleep. Okay, we'll, we'll breakfast now then. Um, shall I scan? I sh I'll scan. I'll scan for diamonds now and then take the sea truck there. Come off it. What was I scanning for? Oh, I'm scanning for diamonds. And it didn't go down that much. As, I mean, the power. So, we are here. Yeah, there's, there's diamonds. That's in the... Yeah, I, I remember these ones. These are... These are the sea monkey caves, really deep sea, sea monkey caves underneath the, the spirally 
spirally uh, cave thing. Yeah. But there's more than one, surely. I remember I remember one of those sea monkey caves right at the very bottom of that place having like probably seven or eight. But anyway, we can see three diamonds right now. And one of them, where are we? One of them is... One of them is a little off south south no, southwest west. No, idiot. Not southwest west, south southwest. A little off south southwest. And the other one is basically is two notches off of southeast towards east. My my Cub Scout pack reader would hate me. I'd definitely have my map reading merit badge taken away. I know what they normally call those and how many degrees it is, but I've forgotten. So it's two, I'm just writing things down, two towards east from southeast. And that one is more or less, more or less south southwest. And then that one is west at depth. Okay, cool. Well, if it's not using up all that much power in comparison, it's only going down because it's night time, and this thing is still keeping us well topped up. those and have something to eat and then we go and take the sea truck out to the coordinates that we checked out yeah where are we health station one was two notches off of southeast so one is in that direction in a cat in a crevice and then the other one is south southwest. The other one is over there. Yeah. We don't know how far. And it's diamond. It wasn't the ore that diamond can be found in sometimes. So we should know what we're looking for. Haven't gone far out enough yet. So that's gold. Grab that while we're here. Hopefully, it is gold. Yes. I know, in my luck, it's probably going to be in there somewhere. Oh, it's that way. Well, they do like... To, diamonds do like to be around hot areas. But it could, it could be by one of those geothermal vents. Let's have a look around here. No, by the looks of it, it was much, much lower down. Like it was in like a cave or something. <laughs> it's not going to be. It's not going to be on the surface like this. I'm going to have to find the entrance to a cave through a crevice or something. Probably. I'm just giving a general look around, see what's what. Lots of silver, possible silver, there's another gold. I 
more lithium would be nice as well. But that's there's a, there's a lot of lithium on the flats out on the other side. That was where home was. We've already deviated a little. Yeah, so it was basically that direction straight away from home. So push back a bit, there we go. Could it Where's oh, I was wondering where all that noise was coming from, it started raining thought it was noise of the area, that there was something particular about it. What are you? Oh, another fragment. Let's go and scan that. Okay. I mean, it's usually places like places like this, in and around these areas of heat, that have that kind of stuff. But it is, it is a little high up. In all honesty, it is a little high up for for diamond. That's usually lower down. Let's see if there's like a crevice or something on the other side of that. I know I've gone past it, as in distance-wise. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's a crevice. Turn around. Come on, there we go. Well, I doubt we're going to get the. Why in the world is that? Creature egg. Okay. Well, we'll leave. We'll leave this thing here. Ah, there we go. See. told you they like being around heat. It's probably going to be in one of those chambers where one of the vents are. You've got to be uber careful going in and out of these. Is that it? No. You've got to be uber careful around those things because without the reinforced dive suit you can get very painful very quickly. Gotta keep on keep an eye on where we're going. That's lithium. Now it's just that. Oh no, it lead. It looked like lithium from where I was. There, diamond. Three of them. Sweet. Gotta be very careful. If I'd stayed there, that could have been... <coughs> ah, it picked up on a vein. Got to make sure not to be there exactly when it erupts. I mean, it might not be the case. I might be far enough away, but I doubt it. And I'd rather not test the theory because I don't want to get fried. Or boiled, sorry. It is hot water. Yeah, and there's probably more further in further down because there's see there's more chambers down there yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna start running out of air soon so I need to go back get a top up on air this is what I mean with the high capacity tank and the rebreather we spent quite a lot of time down there, and with the sea glide, it's no problem whatsoever to get back. And there's a similar crevice to this, but bigger, a little bit further further out on the other side, 
Or is it exactly on the opposite side? I can't remember now. Anyway. And that leads you into where you can get to the mines. Make sure we're fully topped up. Go left. Past that one. That's where we found the previous, and there were two dots, there were two dots on the screen relatively near each other where that one was. Yeah, that's doable, but you've got to time it right. Wait for both of them to die down. Go and die down. There you go. More. And see, this is the mine. There's an oxygen plant. I'll risk it. See what else we can find in here. This is... This is... This is... This is the top level. Yeah, because that's only the entrance to the thing. I can get back here on 60 of air. I'll, I'll make use of this. And the exit is over there. Okay. Ah, this is the entrance entrance. What are you? Hoping it'd be magnetite. Okay, then I need, I need to get back to the... I need to get back to the sea truck. There's the oxygen plant, there's the thing. I've got a minute. I'll be alright. We're up through here. And hopefully that's dying down just as we get there. Yes, it is. Sweet. Well, we've got four diamonds. Let's not push it. Yeah, we know, we know how to get to the... Um, we know how to get here. We just need to, we need to go up and we need to find a, I didn't bring a beacon, yeah, like I never fucking do. Yeah, so it's, it's exactly, when I come, when I come from home, it's exactly the south, south, west. And I'll write that down. That's 335.6 meters from the beacon from home. So from home. Yeah, cool. And then the, uh, we'll go and look at the ones that were supposedly easier. So from home. Oh, well, I'm going to have to go home to reorient. Oh, I'm going to need to bring that repair thing with me, aren't I? Now that I'm running around with this, <coughs> so I can repair it on the go. <clears throat> repair tool. Go keep. No, that's got to be quartz. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, there's another fragment to scan. That was a win. That was a definite win. Went out looking for diamonds and found a whole bunch. So now I can make the upgrade and I'll be able to make the modification station, I believe. Welcome aboard, Captain. So what was it? For the enameled? Where are we? Here we are. Enamel glass, lead and glass. And we need two of those. Need more quartz. Would you look at that? It's not something I'm normally short on. We'll put that away. Don't need the copper either. I'm gonna need the lead. I'm gonna need two lead. Get another one. I need the gold or silver.
That's so nice, the way the light plays over those. The way the light plays over there, through the water. <laughs> I picked a nice spot, I think. Geothermal vents over there. Nice little open water section over there. All the little spirally things over there. Ah, I picked a nice spot. Okay, so what, what was it? Um, plasteel, 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 plasteel. Was lithium. That's on the flats over on that side. I need quartz and I need lithium. I might as well leave everything that I need here for now. Leave the diamond. Bed box, and then we'll check our power, and we'll grab some of this water, like so. Cool. Let's take this. Oh, okay, it's all. Bring that along. Uh, uh. Yeah, the flats that are on this side of the island have lithium all over them, so. Well, it's not like there's an excessive amount, but yeah, there's, enough. there's enough to keep me going for now. There's some gold there. Felt a vibration like my phone notification or something. going for lithium first and then once we've got yeah there's a bit once we've got quite a bit of lithium I'll find more in the area then then we'll start other things lithium and any diamond if we happen to come across it but I doubt it is this the other crevice? Did I find it already? I think this is the one that you can get this thing through. No. But there's a, there's a, there's a crevice like this that you can actually get the sea truck through. Uh, I remember I, <coughs> I used to squeeze the thing through with like I had an aquarium upgrade, a fabricator upgrade, and what's the other one? Not the not the one that holds the prawn, because the prawn never never wanted to come through with it. The other one is, is it sleeper car or something? I, I, I think it's the sleep the sleeping module. Is that even a thing? I can't remember now. It's like three or four different modules. I know I had the aquarium, I had the fabricator, and I had something else. On there, there was like three. There was like three or four modules on it. I squeezed the damn, whole damn thing through the crevice. Come on, you lithium! A song by Nirvana. That's on my top ten. Ah, here we go. Yeah, there's the purple vent things. This is the area. There you see. Bunch of it. No, and we haven't redefined two to mean a bunch. It's there it's littered all over the the flats out here. Oh, it's just one of them. Thought it was a uh, Leviathan already, because there's there, there is a Leviathan at the at the edge of at the edge of one of these main biomes on this side. Annoying little bastard. That's all quartz. That's quartz. 
Did he attack me? If he did, I, I didn't notice. Is that it? Yep, there's more there. See? It's lovely. It's lovely. Two more. Get in there. Let's pan around here. No, not that I can tell. No, no. It's caught, so there's two more. I really need to make a beacon or two and bring it with me so I can put them down when I find things. So if I find that crevice now, I have to try and remember how I got to it. Otherwise, it's just going to get lost and I have to go look for it again. But if I had a beacon with me, I could just throw the beacon in there. There's lots of bladder fish here. Oh, there's another one. Well, that is a bit of a win that I found the entrance to the the little crevice entrance to the mine. I know I knew where the the main mine entrance is. It's not going to be particularly useful because if now you got the, if I've got the sea truck, it's going to be a hella easier just to pull up to the main entrance that we're going to be coming up on actually as we go around. Come on, where's more lithium? It's crystal. Crystal. There's, there's a there's a if you carry on going in that direction and you go deeper, there's a Leviathan down there. Oh, is that a, uh, yes indeed it is, another sea truck fragment. You see, I told you, <laughs> I could have sworn it was further away though. You bastard. I told you there's a Leviathan out here. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi, sorry. <laughs> that scared me for a minute there. Heard the follow sound. Hi. Hi. Hi, big brain. First person to join today. Just at the right time when I was about to get eaten by a Leviathan. I'm so, I, I was panning around the area looking for looking for lithium and I was just standing at the top there saying oh, if you go further down there there's a, there's usually a leviathan and yeah foreshadowing about 10 seconds later I'm in the mouth of a leviathan see there he is get out of it leave me alone there we go again I don't want to be in your mouth let go of me yeah, I know. I just started. Uh, uh, I, I started with a fresh save. I've been playing for about, I don't know, two, two and a half hours maybe. Just got a little base started up. I have, I have to get out and repair the damn thing again. There's a... The reason I'm trying to get down there, I saw a sea truck fragment and I think it's the... One of the fabricator module bits. Go away! <laughs> he's just circling that's exactly where the sea truck fragment is and he's just circling the damn thing go away <laughs> oh 
Oh, you're, you're, you're also playing it now. Cool. How far along are you? Did you, did you just start it, or have you been playing it for a while? I've played this on the, the pre-release all the way up until when they actually had content for the main storyline. When you're basically, I think it was, it was, it was quite an annoying point for them to stop because it was about 75% of the way through, maybe, maybe less, maybe like 65, 70% of the way through the main quests for the uh, Alan. Where food and water are no problem, I could probably make a prawn suit. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. And uh, do, do you have Alan in your head yet? I keep forgetting I've got a 10 second delay on the stream, so. Don't, don't mind me if I miss something, it's just a delay. Or if it takes me a while to reply on something. Yeah, you've got Alan. Okay, cool. I like Alan. They 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 uh, they script they scripted the 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 dialogue parts for Alan quite well. The way that he's always talking talking with Alex and doesn't understand the thing, simple things like sarcasm. Well, to begin with, he, he, he learns. He learns. Actually, cracks a joke or two. I want that. I want that sea truck fragment. I'm going to park this thing here and see if I can get away with taking the sea glide in there. If I'm less of a threat. He's gone away by the looks of it. I can't see him anywhere. Oh, there he is. Let's get it. See if we can get in and out quickly. Is it Robin? I keep saying Alex. It, it probably if it probably is Robin. Then I don't. I I I I, I, I keep saying Alex. Oh, it's only the sleeper module. It probably is Robin. I I I, I don't know exactly. I, just, I I kept saying Alex for some reason. I've still got the original game on my mind. What's that? Who's the tank? Cool. And a bunch more lithium. That's exactly what I was looking for. Some salt, some more lithium. Let's make sure not to run out of air. So what have we got? Lo oh, we've got lots of lithium now. I think we can start. It's down there. Right, if I can evade two main characters who are not precursors. Okay, cool. Where's my sea truck? Oh, damn you. Get away from me. Where's my sea truck? Not paying attention for two minutes and then get eaten by the damn thing. Go away. Why do you like swimming around that exact crevice that I want to go down into? Okay, we'll have a bit of food. We'll have a bit of drink. Gonna have to make some more med kits when we get back. Sam, are you on Robbie and I? Yeah, yeah. Now it's been a while since I. Well, I thought that was another Leviathan for a minute. There, it's just one of those little guys. Now, it's been a while since I played. I mean, I got I played Subnautica back when. Not, not long after PewDiePie started playing it, I saw Jacksepticeye playing it, and then uh, I saw PewDiePie playing it as well a little while later, and I thought, ah, oh, I'll give it a go. I was getting bored of Minecraft at the point anyway. And then uh, I completed that, and basically, as soon as I completed that, I was totally into, into the Subnautica thing. So then I got below zero, but then it was still only pre-release. This is probably nearly a year ago, at least. 
Why is the exterior grow bed less expensive than the interior grow bed? I wouldn't know. Exterior. It does seem, well, oh, I don't know. I don't know what logic they put behind that. I was thinking about... The exterior one should be more expensive because you can put that basically whatever depth you want. So you'd think it would need to be stronger to be able to hold up to the pressures. Okay, so what, what was I doing? I was making the depth module. That's why I went to get lithium. So what else do I need? What else do I need? Basic materials. I need to get my glass. Oh yeah. I still need another piece of crystal as well. Yeah, no, that's that's exactly it. Yeah, see. Is it bigger? I hadn't noticed. I thought they were both the same size. I didn't I didn't I didn't realise that the one was bigger than the other. I probably wasn't paying attention. I thought it was both of them had four rows of four slots. The basically sixteen, or is it? Yeah, the exit. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna get it confused in my head. I don't know. Godsend of food. Food, food fevered peppers. What's that? You mean the salad? That the marguerite that you can make when you get the uh, funny fruits from marguerite. <clears throat> oh, I think I, I think I remember which ones you mean now. Those um, like purpley orange looking things that give you. Heat and food. They gr they grow on the plants much like this one. So they they like hang down underneath one of those weird looking plants. Let's go and get some quartz and loot. Yeah, heat, food, and water. Yeah, yeah okay, I remember which ones you mean. Yeah, they 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 are pretty cool. Oh, they 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 almost look like little glowy maggot maggot kind of things. I didn't do much. I didn't do much on the surface, to be quite honest. I did the bare minimum. I I I'd done a lot in the game, um, in the pre-release, like really a lot. Before I even uh, made one of those penguin things to go and get fur from the from the monsters, I can't even remember their names. The ones that look like the cross between like a polar bear and a I don't know what it is like a saber tooth polar bear. <clears throat> you get the, you get the fur off of them to make the uh, special winter gear. Yeah, yeah, they they're, they're really good food as well. There's another. There's another. There's another one that's really good for f food. I, I I like these ones that I'm growing because they're great in the um, they're great in the bioreactor, and these also give these also give give uh, water. But there's another one it, that doesn't give as much health, but it gives more food and it gives more water. Yeah, snow stalkers. There you go. They're the ones. I'd I'd done a whole bunch in the game. Before I'd even gone on to uh, get fur from the snow stalkers to make the winter gear, and then when I realised the winter, I I was running around on the on on the surface just using these uh, peppers and coffee to keep myself warm for ages and ages and ages. I mean, I was playing on a uh, and I, I just recently got a new computer. That's why I started playing these again and, and streaming next to it. So I was playing the Subnautica and Below Zero on an old MacBook Pro because they were 
one of the games that you could get for the Mac on Steam. And it's a really old one, so I was playing these games with like real minimal settings. And being out on the surface, I couldn't use the the snow speeder because I just lagged like crazy. I'd get on the snow speeder and I'd go I'd drop down to like three FPS. So I had to run everywhere on the surface. And I did that without the winter clothes for ages, just using peppers and coffee to keep myself warm. And then I discovered how good the winter clothes were, so then you know, I always make that now. So I'm looking forward to going to the surface, but I really, li I really like the being underwater. That's the main, the, yeah, the snow fox. Yeah, that's the one, snow fox. I, I, I've forgotten a whole bunch of the names. It's been a while since I played it. I just came back to it because I, co I completed, um, I completed Death Stranding, and I, I got all of the achievement, all 63 of the achievements in it. And I was looking for something to do, so I thought, and what is it in the activity feed, the 1.0 release popped up, so I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll give this a look. See what's new. I noticed a few things at the at the beginning. One of the women that you, you speak to, that's a new set of dialogue, I believe. And I don't remember the little um, the little boxes popping up with their faces in the past. It might have, and I've just forgotten about it, but that seemed new to me. Okay, so before I get too sidetracked, I was going to get some quartz. No, I, I, I really like Death Stranding. I, mean, I it, Probably the fact that I, I, I like Norman Reedus, because I was really into him in uh, in The Walking Dead. I'm kind of biased about it, but I mean, it's not the kind of game that I can imagine playing, you know, forever and uh, end on end like Minecraft. I mean, that's basically something I could, if, if there was no other game in the world, if I could choose like one game to play to the, the, the end of time, I'd have to choose Minecraft, but it's, but it's good. It's got, it's got enough. I mean, it's good enough that I've played probably about 140 hours now, and it was around the 100-hour mark that I'd completed it. And the rest of the time, I'm just... I, I crank the difficulty up to very hard, and I'm going through all of the people, all of the preppers, and all of the main points, and any order that they have, I'm taking them all up to uh, Legend of Legend of Legends status. And I think I've got about... 400 of the 500 done already. Oh, I, I haven't had a I haven't had a console. Poor God, since the PS2, I think that was the last console I ever bought. And then I built myself uh, j just not not long after that, probably a year and a half, maybe two years after the PS2, I built myself my first serious PC, and I've never gone back to consoles ever since. And the other, just quickly to touching back on the Death Stranding, the main thing about it was as soon as I heard that it's uh, Hideo Kojima behind the game, I was like, 100%, I've got to try this. I, I remember playing Metal Gear Solid and Metal Gear Solid 2 back in the day on the PlayStation and the PlayStation 2, and those were phenomenal. I mean, Metal Gear Solid 2 was like the benchmark back in the day for those kinds of games it completely changed the game and when i heard death stranding was was done by him i was like yeah absolutely i have to get this Is there anything new with the Subnautica? Did they update that, or did they, they, they bring out anything new for that recently? I, I, I haven't really checked the activity feed on that. Booster tank. I don't think I want to do that. I like my oxygen. 
I like my oxygen a little too much to waste it on being boosted. So what do we want? We want... So we're going to need two glass. Don't think so. Okay. I mean, uh... This, this this universe that they've made with Subnautica, they could take this in so many directions. I mean, they could they could just make they could just make a couple of DLC packs for Below Zero, and take it in completely different directions. I mean, the first one was with the other character Alex, because I was getting it mixed up, and now we've got a completely different thread with this Ultra High. Yeah, yeah. I I I I, I just I just got some diamonds. I wanted to get some diamonds to make the uh, make the enameled glass for the the depth module for the sea truck because that 150 meters that you get on the <laughs> out 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 of the gate is just a little silly. That that's another thing. You can swim down to God knows whatever depth with no problem. I mean, even if you if you had the normal capacity air tank and you didn't have the re the rebreather, you could still dive past. 150 meters and make it up to the surface without running out of air but the sea truck when you first make it you can't take it past 150 meters it's a, it's a little silly if you ask me but i'm uh, i just went out to get some diamonds so i could make the first depth upgrade for that and because i found more diamonds than i needed i'm gonna use it to make the modification station so hopefully i can make the ultra high capacity one Yeah, yeah, the architects are definitely something we could they could seriously expand upon. I mean, if you just look at the um, those teleportation gate things that they have, you could you could let's say scenario come across a, a, a room that's deep down in the depths of the planet where there's a bunch of these portals, and then if they planned it out ahead of time, you could have each one of those portals taking you you know, quote-unquote, taking you to a different, even planet, let's say, and each one of those would be a different DLC pack. And you could have... I mean, it's Subnautica, so you'd, you'd, you'd more or less need to carry on the theme of being underwater in a lot of them, but, yeah, they, 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 they've, they've, got, they've got along pretty well so far. I don't think it would be too much of a problem for these guys to think up new and interesting ways to torment us underwater. They've been definitely doing a bang-up job until now. Oh yeah, lead and diamond. Where did I put the... over here. There we go. Now I should be able to make the... yep, enamel glass. I, I like the direction that they took with the with the architects in this game. With with Alan, is it is an inter it's an interesting way to spin it. More of them. Well, I guess. You've got that. I can't. Rem I can't remember. I can't remember the names of them. But there's the one that I just came across. And then there's yeah, there's the reef backs, but they're 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 passive, so they're not exactly a problem. But they're technically of a Leviathan class. I mean, we've seen enough of the bigger, like the the there was there was the one in Subnautica, the one that we 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 uh, trying to help save the babies. And there was at least two other extinct leviathans that we saw in there there's like three days because there's the didn't didn't they bring they didn't they bring over the um the one with the big hammerhead into this into this one i can't remember the name of him there's two, i i seem to remember there being two distinct types when you go down to lower depths there's 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 one particular type that's in the purple crystal caves and then there's i mean technically those um the things that are like a, a hybrid between crabs and octopuses the things that crawl around like spiders they're technically leviathans as well 
Emperor Leviathan. I th sea Emperor Leviathan. I think that might be the one that I came across. Yeah, the Reaper. Reaper Leviathan. That's the one I'm thinking of. The one that's got like a, a weird... Those, I think... Yeah, the, the, yeah, the Subnautica. I was, I was thinking of the Reaper one. That's the one with the big hammerhead. And they've got something that looks similar to the Ghost Leviathan in here. When you go down to like serious depths, it's like it's it, because there's that there's there's an area where there's like this green. I don't know what you call it. Obviously, it's some sort of it's it's water, but it's got some sort of chemical in it <coughs> that it, it kind of level it levels off on the it levels off on 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 the ground. It kind of flows through crevices and everything like rivers underwater as you do get in real life where there's like fresh water and seawater differences and then you go past that and you get into the purple crystal caves and then past that you get to the red crystal caves and there's one there's one particular one in the purple crystal caves and he's hard but you can you can kind of run away from him and hide behind the purple crystals but the one in the red the red crystal caves now he's a he's a, he's a bastard he he almost he almost uh, crushed my he almost crushed my sea truck a couple of on a couple of occasions. Yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. The first the first time I made a the first time I made a cyclops, it was a uh, I I was, you know, 20 24 hours into the game, not a care in the world, you know, just Going along with my going along with my cyclops, having a good good old time, and I didn't even know that there were leviathans that close to the, the main play area, and I'm just going along, and all of a sudden I hear the alarm going off, and then this thing comes at me, and before I had a chance to to to, to get away, you know, obviously I didn't have any of the protection things or torpedoes or anything on me yet, and then the damn thing uh, attacks me a couple of times and wrecks my cyclops, and down, it got snapped in two so i had my nice had my had my nice shiny cyclops for about two hours and then uh, destroyed it for me and I'd, I'd filled it to the brim with lockers like wherever you could put a locker on the wall of the cyclops i had a locker and it had it was full of stuff so i had to come back with the sea moth and get the stuff out of it because thankfully the lockers and everything everything that you put in like the batteries and the lockers you put on the wall and the things that you put in the lockers that are in the side, in the bottom, <coughs> all of that stuff stays there even after it's been destroyed. And you can go and get the stuff from it. So I had to go back with the sea moth, God knows, probably like 40 times to get all of the stuff from the, <coughs> all of the stuff from the cyclops that was at the bottom of the sea. <coughs> so where are we? I have everything now for the... Upgrade. I will upgrade, and I have it. I have enough to make the upgrade station as well, so I can check to see what it is that I need to make the Mark II. Where are we? Habitat builder, uh, interior. So I need diamond lead and a chip. I've got an extra diamond over here. Diamond lead. And I need some table coral, which is over here. And I need some copper, which is over here. It's a little bit much. What do you mean when uh, upgrades drop when they're destroyed? Like when you find uh, destroyed prawns and things, if, if you could take the upgrades and stuff out of them. Like the ones that are in the game, not not ones that you make. Is that anything anything that you make yourself? I've had I've had a sea truck get destroyed once. Thankfully, it was just a sea truck and a prawn. But I was able to go back to it and take stuff out of it. That the things that you make, you uh, uh, or at least they might have changed it. The last time I had something destroyed, I was able to take stuff out of it. Gold. 
I think I might need to turn the delay down. This 10 second delay on the stream is a little much. <clears throat> well, I can get rid of that upgrade being pinned. Where are you? Get rid of that. Oh, I can see here. Synthetic fibers, ruby, ruby, ruby. Yeah, I can get that from the mine. I'm not far away from that. Cool. And enamel glass. And I have to go to the mine to get more diamond to make more enamel glass anyway. Okay, cool. So we go into the mine. Let's just... Oh, I see what you mean. Um, that's I, 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 I never had a I never had a I don't think I ever had a sea moth destroyed. I had a cyclops destroyed, and in Subnautica I, I had a I had a prawn destroyed. That's for sure. But I, I don't I I didn't have a sea moth destroyed. Thank uh, I, I, I was lucky enough with that. But from experience, I know you can get everything out of the cyclops. I, 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 I was able to at least get all six batteries, uh, all the upgrades and everything that I'd put on the walls, like the things that I'd built inside, I was able to uh, reclaim everything. I might, it might be the way that, that they'd made, made the um, destruction. Because, I mean, if you think about it, if the sea moth itself breaks apart just where the upgrades are, it could be that, you know, unluckily, whatever upgrade happens to be in X slot is, is lost. Because that's where it broke apart. <clears throat> okay, let's get back to what was I doing? I've got the upgrade. Oh, yeah, I was going to make the upgrade station so I can see what other things I can upgrade. Where should we put that? Can I fit it in here? Please let me fit it in here. There we go. Should I make a thermo blade? I don't know. Ice worms. <laughs> They're not that bad. I, I probably only took damage like twice from ice worms, maybe three times. You can hear them coming, and when they start coming towards you, you basically just jump out of the way where they're poking themselves out through the ice. Is that all I can do with the modification station right now. Are you for real? I could have sworn there was a whole bunch more stuff you can do at the modification station. But I can't make the Mark II upgrade yet. What, what is it I need for the synthetic fibers? Ruby and a spiral plant. So I have to go and look for that huge the Levi the, the one of the passive Leviathans is basically a big floating garden and I'm gonna go and get Ruby when I go to the mines yeah well basically we have to go to the mines now I need Ruby and more diamonds and both of those are in the mine so we'll upgrade that to a thermo blade just for shit and giggles not that it really matters and let's see, lithium. Put all the lithium in there. Titanium. Should probably sleep before I leave as well. At least my water and my water and my hunger won't down don't I built this base a little too close to where those weird looking guys feed and the only reason I put the um, the only reason I put the jukebox in 
was to try and was to try and mask the sounds that they make but i need to turn the jukebox up higher which seeing as i've only got one song right now it gets a little tedious after a while so now i have to listen to those monsters groaning outside vital signs stabilizing I'm going to need more water, sure. So let's go and get some bladder fish as well. Finish emptying out the inventory first. Yeah, they can't, they, they, they can't, the, the ice worms can give you a bit of a scare if you're not, <clears throat> not prepared for it. On the main plains areas, where it's like more open region, they tend to you, you get you you hear the sound of them, and then they uh, start kind of like tunneling towards you and and break up out of the ice at a certain point. But there are a couple of places, like in the tunnels underneath the main plains, and. Oh, there's like there's one other area where they just suddenly come out of nowhere. You don't you don't get much of a you don't get much of a forewarning. They just pop out. Other places you could you 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 get a bit of forewarning because you could you you hear their you hear their noise and then they start tunneling towards you. And then the, and the ground rumbles and everything. But there's like two or three spots where they just instantly pop out of the ground. That's the annoying. That, those are the really annoying ones. Let's put this upgrade in here. It would be nice to get the uh, moon pool at last. Crush that for now 300 meters. It should be 300 meters to begin with, to be honest. It's a bit of a joke that it's only 150 meters. Well, by the looks of it, it is getting dark, and I know I can sleep because I've been awake for like three days, so I'll sleep. The snow fox was almost destroyed. Damn. Now, I'm looking forward to trying the snow fox out. I'm really looking forward to it because I, 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 I didn't use the snow fox before because I'd get on it and, like I said, that my FPS would just drop to like two, three, four <laughs> frames because the computer was a potato. And now I've got this nice new rig; it'll definitely be able to handle it. So, so. So, mines, but I wanted to make sure I have enough water before I leave, because that's one thing I'm running low on. Where are you? Bladderfish, one. Any bladderfish here? No, there's a peeper, though. There's another peeper. And another peeper. We've got plenty of food. Oh, it picked up a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of the rocks. I'm going to pick this up because this seems like animal abuse that those big guys have been caught in and they can't swim away. Go on, you're free. Swim free. I want to put it back here, so please leave. Go away. Yeah, okay, you're far enough away now, I think. We'll put it back here. And don't come back or you're going to get stuck again. He says, and two seconds later it gets stuck again. I'll put it somewhere else then. I'm not catching very many, many bladder fish here anyway. We'll try the other side. Peeper, come here, come here, come on. Damn you fast. Yeah, let's chuck it down. Don't see anything here. Well, anyway, we'll give it a try. Ah, ladder, ladder fish straight away. Exactly what I wanted.
The one thing I think the um, the C truck is lacking, though, is storage. I mean, there's the um, there's a bit of storage in the fabricator module, and then there's a store. I think there's a storage module, module, and it's got like a couple of closets in it. But it would be so much nicer if we could just build lockers on the wall like you could on the Cyclops. Like if you had a storage module, and then you just had a larger bench box like it does now on either side. No, I know, I know, we can make the storage modules, but you need you need the en like the engine upgrades or whatever it is, and the, and 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 the booster upgrades. I can't remember exactly what they're called. Once you get past like, once you get past four modules on it, it basically turns into a big bus, and it it goes so slow, it's it's just painful. You you really need you really need the upgrades and the booster thing on it to 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 get anywhere. I mean the, the last time I had a nice nice long a nice long sea truck it was the sea truck, and then I had the aquarium module, and I had the sleeper module, and I had the fabrication module. I had one storage module, and then I had the um, the one that holds the prawn at the end, and that was about all I could bear. Because if you put more storage mo modules on it, like if you switched some of the other things out for more storage modules so you can store things, then you're lacking in other areas. I like to have, like, a nice mix. I like to have my cake and eat it. Oh, that was one thing I really loved about the Cyclops. That was that was a cool that was a cool vehicle. That was a really cool in-game vehicle. But when I, when I first started playing be uh, the Below Zero, and I started to make the Sea Truck, I was I was chuckling at it. Honestly, I was I was having a little bit of a laugh. I was like, seriously. After the Cyclops, this is what you give us. <laughs> and then I started to get some of the other. Yeah. <laughs> Does the, 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 the Snow Fox not have uh, lights on it? Well, obviously not then if you have to wait. That seems like a little bit of an oversight. They could, they could, they could easily put lights on that thing. I mean, the, uh, what do you call it? The Sea Glide has lights on it. Uh, what was I doing? Food. Food and water. Food and water. Yeah, I still need more water. That's just not on. I need more water. They're bad. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to shut up? Please, stop making all those gargling sounds. I had to make a jukebox because of you. And now he goes and gets stuck here. Do you want to go and swim somewhere else? It's a huge ocean. I'll pick up the bladder fish. And then he... Ah, uh, I've got enough peepers. Yeah, 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 no, that's what I mean. That's exactly what I mean. If they had, like, an empty module, and then you could kit it out how you saw fit, you could put, like, a fabricator and a locker on one side, and maybe two lockers on the other side, and then just have them keep the, uh, the bench boxes, yeah, the things that look like benches that you can sit on, that will also have storage in, keep those, then it would be great. You had three lockers and a fabricator in one module, it'd be perfect. Right. A far cry from a Cyclops, but yeah, it would be better.
Christ's sake, man, I'm going to leave you there. You're, you're stuck now. I don't care anymore. I've moved this thing four times so you don't get stuck in it, but you keep swimming over there, so... It's your bad. What are you doing up here again? You're supposed to be down at depth. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I picked quite a spot to build this place. I don't normally have anywhere near as much trouble with these, with all these guys. <clears throat> oh yeah, that, that would be good. I mean, if you if you had like a half size grow bed, that 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 would be. Or where where those benches are, were like a built in little grow area. Like you could, if you could plant four. If you could put plant four things on either side of one of those, that would be cool. That they could do that in the um, in the aquarium, for example. That would be like the little farm kind of thing. Yeah, water. Don't get sidetracked again. Let's get some water. Then we're going to the mine. Diamonds and rubies. Diamonds and rubies. Can't forget. I have I have the brain of a fish, or the mem memory of a fish. So if I keep repeating myself about things, then don't be surprised. I have a any type. Yeah, 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 yeah. Any type of grow bed. So we've got water. Well, we don't want to leave without topping it off to the max at least. And we'll double check that this thing is. Yeah, that's still okay. We'll eat a bunch of these. There we go. Cool. All right, here you are. To the mines. Just have to steer clear of that blokey that I came across a minute, a few minutes ago. I'm going the right direction, aren't I? It's on. It's on. It's on the the, the the main mine entrance. It's on the opposite side of the island from Delta Dock. Arctic Spires Cash. Oh yeah, that was that was a tough one for me as well. I think I looked at the wiki for that. To be honest. I try not. I try not to, but I'd probably spend four or five hours running around the Arctic area trying to look for it. But uh, I just oh, it's the mercury. I just end up looking at the wiki. I think. What's that? Oh, it's salt. Oh, they definitely did a little bit of work on this. this mer the mercury didn't look like this before. Whole bunch of scrap. Don't want that right now. We're looking for rubies and diamonds. Just going to give this place a once over, see what's changed, if anything. So the entrance is here somewhere. You want to go away? Go away. No one cares. Why did you have to push me? I have to repair the damn thing now. I did bring the yeah okay I did bring the repair tool. Oh, 
I don't want to go in here right now because it's just going to annoy me. Because I know there's, I know there's a bunch of things that you can only get by cutting through the doors, and I don't have the the laser cutter yet. But at least now I know exactly where it is, and nothing's nothing's really changed in the update to this, other than they made it look a lot better. The texturing on this is completely different. It looks really, really old now. What's that? Oh, it's just one of those. What have we got here? More scrap. The scrap looks different too. They've they've skinned they've skinned this differently. The, the scrap used to look a lot brighter. Almost like it was brand new, just happened to have fallen off the ship, but this looks properly like weathered. What are you? I don't remember seeing this before. This looks new as well. Let's get out and scan it, see what it says. If it's scannable. Yes, it is. Tree Spire. I don't remember seeing this before. Or maybe they it, they look different in previous versions. It's cool, though. Looking for the mine entrance. Give me the mine entrance. Should be here somewhere. We're al we're almost on the opposite side of the opposite side of the mountain from the delta delta dock. More of those tree things. Oh, and there's that garden where I can get the uh, the spiral plants. Do I want to go in there right now? There's another leviathan there. I can see it to the left there. That's the guy that chewed me up. Yeah, yeah. Well, did, did I attack you again? <laughs> there's um, there's a what do you call it? Oh, what do they call it? It bangs on the ground like the thumper or something. It's, you, you, you can put it down and you put a battery in it and it thumps the ground and it scares them away. Have you, have you found that yet? Or do you not use it? I'm going to go for it. There's a leviathan right there, but... They improved this as well, for sure. I don't remember that being all glowy and everything. I used 40 oxygen to get here, and I want to leave myself a little extra to get back. God damn, that's taking a long time to scan. It's going to use up most of my oxygen scanning the damn thing. I just want some of these spiral plant clippings. Yeah, we're coming up on... time I need to turn around. Yep, it's turnaround time. Definitely don't want to be drowning out here. Where's the sea truck? There's there's the sea truck. We'll see how much time how much air we have left when we get back to it. And I can add add some more time to the time I spend inside. I don't want to go closer with the sea truck because that damn leviathan's there. 30-ish. <laughs> okay, so I left now when I had 60 oxygen left. So I can leave, let's say, when I have about 50 left and still get back in time. 
How much room do I have? Well, I guess if I'm here now, I might as well harvest this. Let's make another run. Can I get closer? Do I dare? I really don't want that Leviathan coming after me. Get a little closer. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not going any closer than that. I don't want that damn Leviathan coming after me. You can't see him now, but you know it. I, I come up here with the sea truck, and then that's when he'd come out of nowhere. And I should be able to do more harvesting than before, because I used a lot of my time scanning the last time I came in. And I mustn't forget to plant some of these when I get an exterior grow bit. I, I'm, I, I, sh I can't, I'm, can't use them all up. So you can actually plant these things. So I don't think they'll regrow inside the vent garden. So if you harvest them and use them all up, then that's it. You've had your lot. But you can grow them for yourself. And they did a good job on the music as well. I was think uh, I, I saw on the release they put out the uh, soundtrack. I think I might get that. I'm going to get the soundtrack to Death Stranding as well. There's some really good music in that. Oh, there's also some in the purple vent. Oh, I didn't know that. I always came here for it, and then once once I got it, I grew it grew, grew it for myself. So yeah, I have to go home now. I filled up my inventory with that stuff. I'd rather get a bunch now than run out and, you know, like you always do, in the middle of crafting something and you need one piece of it. I'll fill up, fill up now and then I'll have a bunch for later. Ooh, and I'll be able to make the prawn after going into the... Um, after going into the mines, I should be able to collect all the pieces I need to make a prawn. I love that thing. Oh, I was talking about the prawn earlier, actually. I was saying that the... Um, I think it's Marguerite, the old woman, that shows up in that... that weird looking uh, custom prawn she's got that she's got customizations all over it it would, it would be nice if we could actually do something similar to that so not just the standard upgrades where you can get the the drill arm and the torpedo arm and this arm and that arm it would be nice if we could do some of our own uh, what do you call it our own upgrades to it like she did Ice worms are made of a crap ton of nightmare fuel dumped on a worm that was fused with me. <laughs> a burning red hot needle. <laughs> a needle they just pulled out of Satan's forge. <laughs> I think I'm going to need to make more storage as well though, yeah, because that's almost full, and I've basically got a locker's worth of this stuff. So let's chuck some food out so I can actually pick up some titanium, and then get the habitat builder. Where are you? Five. Locker. That's where the moon pool entrance is going, so I can't put anything there. I'll put another one here. I'm going to move those posters later anyway. Can't figure out how the fuck to get out. 
<laughs> you you made your way in there. You can't get out. I I accidentally glitched into one of them. There's 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 uh, I'm not sure whether it's the one that you're in now or there's there's multiple of them. There's I, it was a particular cache in like one of the ice biomes, and I was just I was running along, but it was like a white out storm and I couldn't see where I was going. I was just running, running, running. And then I fell down a crevice in between the ice sheets and it glitched me outside of the map. I didn't fall out of the world. I was just, you know, I could, I could clip through things and I saw the, I saw, a ca I saw something weird that looked like a cache and I ran towards it and I was able to jump into the cache. I never, I never found that glitch again, but <clears throat> that was weird randomly randomly started clipping through everything I will be right back I'm just going to get myself a glass of water <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Getting attacked by the ice worms again. Yeah, so now we can go back to the mine. Or looking for the mine. Oh, you're lost. Well, I can't help you with that, mate. Unfortunately. Well, if if you're up for it, if if that's not the if that's not the kind of thing that you you don't have, a, or if 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 it's the kind of thing that you're okay with doing, then I'd recommend looking looking up the uh, below zero wiki. If you, if you search for a particular area, <coughs> like you're in the uh, in the Arctic Spires cache, then it'll tell you how to get there, and then you can basically backtrack from the directions there. If you find a, <coughs> find a uh, waypoint of something, you know, something familiar. I think I know which area you mean. I think I think I know which area you mean. The, there's the uh, the huge frozen leviathan, and then from there you have to go up. You go uh, up the uh, the right hand side of where the frozen leviathan is, and then just keep going. I think I think that's the area where where, where you are. That that's 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 uh, an annoying area. You, you can definitely easily get lost up there. I, 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 I think that, 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 that that's the one that I probably spent a long time looking for and eventually just looked it up on the wiki. No, it's not that one? Oh, okay. Oh, the one where you have to make the um, the hydraulic fluid. You have to make hydraulic fluid to fix it so you can actually turn it on. Yeah, okay. No, but I thought the frozen Leviathan was on that side. You go over the bridge and you come across the Omega base, I think it is, and then further on in you come across the um, the frozen Leviathan. Or is, it, or is that in completely the opposite direction? I'm getting it mixed up. OK. 
Okay, so we're back here. Oh, there's little mini ones of the vent gardens. I don't remember seeing them before. It's the whole opposite direction. Okay, yeah. Because there, there's, there's, there's two main snowy... Two. Two main snowy biome areas. Yeah, so you're, you're in the other one. This is cool. I don't remember seeing these small event gardens. That's cool. I only ever saw the one that's the big one that's plonked on the ground. That's really cool. That like the the the, the reef backs. Pass <coughs> Passive Majestic Beasts. Okie dokie. So we're back to looking for the mine entrance. And I'm on the right side, am I? If we come across the vent gardens, then we must be. That's Delta Station. There's home. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're on the right side. Just got to keep going around. Should be coming up. Should be coming up on it soon. Yeah, here we go. Found it. Sweet. Now you figured it out. This is annoying that they they open this just enough that you can get a prawn through but <laughs> you can't get the sea truck through or can you i seem to remember i seem to remember checking something out on the wiki that there is a bit of a fiddly way but you can get through it if you can and that would be absolutely mint did I? No, I didn't. Fire Robotic Center. Okay. Oh, then I know which side you mean. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's... Th th this is where I have to time it well. Because <laughs> I'm only going to have enough oxygen to get all the way to the bottom and get back again with very little time. Yeah, I thought I thought so. I thought as much. Because if I can get it in and then get it out again. But I seem to remember it being something about you have to do it at the top here or something. I know I know there's also a crevice that you can go down. Yeah, that the 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 one that you're talking about by the Delta Docks is a crevice. You can you can uh, you can go in through one of the little crevices. But I seem to remember there being a way to get through this as well. Ah, never mind. Let's go and look for the crevice. It'll definitely make my life easier. Going in with the sea truck is preferable to. You're just feeding, aren't you? Follow the geysers, yeah. Well, there's there's the, 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 the different types of geysers. There's the um, there's the purple. If you if you're looking at the delta docks, yeah. If you're in front of the delta docks, then on the left hand side there's the purple geysers, and if you look at it on the right hand side, then there's just the thermal there's the thermal vents or whatever they are. You mean on the on the left side with the purple got the the lava geysers, yeah, they're, they're, they're on the right-hand side. I'd, ha I'd have to carry on going straight and come back around, yeah. Before I run out of air, let's switch to the repair tool, because that's what I wanted to do. I forgot to repair it before I left. Just in front of the Delta Docks. Then I think I've been there earlier. But I was, I was just, I, I only had the sea glide at the time. I was able to swim through it, obviously, but I didn't want to go. What the hell? 
Is that just... Oh, it's just him. They're just making a lot of noise. I thought there's another Leviathan here for a minute there. Okay, so if I'm in front of the... God damn. Oh, that scared the absolute bejesus out of me. Hi, Janus. Sorry, I was just, just getting over a heart attack. I have to change the noise for a new follower. <laughs> That's the second time tonight. I nearly had a heart attack there. Welcome. We're just having some fun in uh, Subnautica, below zero. And uh, Big Brain's also playing along, but he's... You're, you're you're playing this on the PC, right? And then subnaut normal subnautica on the on the PlayStation. I've got I've got a ten second delay turned on on the stream, so yeah, there you go. So if uh, I'm a little late on answering something, then just be patient. I think I think for tomorrow's stream, I'm going to turn that down to like five seconds or maybe less. I'm using the uh, Twitch Studio Beta because it's really easy to set up. <laughs> You're from Poland. Well, then we're neighbours. I'm from Hungary. I'm a little lost now. Where am I? There's home. There's the delta. Okay, I need to go this way. Just need to make sure I don't wander too far away from the island. These are the geysers that you meant, no? These ones. Because the ones on the other side, the purple geysers, they're not lava geysers. I know it's on this side of the island because the last time, the last time I found it, I put a, um, I put a beacon. Oh, what's that? I didn't just go. I, I, I. I oh god! I just drove around in a circle and came back to the same place I started from. I wanted to go around the island and now I've just driven around in a circle. Brain of a fish and... Bloody... Worse than a pigeon. Now oh, here's a lava geyser. But that's... I don't think this is the one. Let's turn around. Or is it? Well, I don't want to get stuck in it. I don't think that's the one. Or is it? I'm, 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 I'm going to give it a go. This might be the one. Because that, oh, I got in. Just hope I can actually get out as well. Because I seem to remember the, the, the one that I found last time. I was able to get in with not just the sea truck. I actually had like a module or two on. And I was able to come through. They might have changed it since. So it's not as easy to get there with the sea truck. But I seem to remember having at, le at least one, maybe two modules on the last time I came. Now I think I found it. I think these are the lava guys that you, that you meant. I found I, I, came, I came into this place earlier on from a different direction. Is it the same place, or am I just talking it up to myself? No, this is just right over it. No, it can't be. That can't be it.
but we'll try looking around a little further further below if we can actually come on twirl your way through it there we go I've got an extra battery battery with me as well so that shouldn't be a problem No, I don't think I don't think this is the one. I don't think this is the one. I don't see any other exits. I've been through it from both ends and I don't see any other I don't see any other way of going further down. Gonna be able to get out there. Not oh, someone left, maybe Janus left. No, this isn't the one. I don't think. I can't, I can't find any way to get lower down. Pilot, Delta, home. Yeah, need to keep going this way. Without getting turned around. <laughs> There's another crevice. No, that's just the... Is it? Oh, that's another vent. But I don't think this is the one either. No, that can't possibly be big enough to get through, can it? Sideways? Oh, there we go. We're inside. This this is probably the one. Is this the one? Please be the one. <laughs> Or did I just come into the same one just from a different direction? I just didn't notice this direct. Yeah, it's the same one. I just came in through a different way I didn't notice before. there's a room a room yeah I'm coming out by the main entrance again yeah I have to, I have to keep going neither that's that's the boat but no, 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 no. I can actually talk without having a stroke both of these both of those and the, that I just went in led to the same chamber and the one that I remember is further along on this side. Yeah, there's home. Yeah, yeah, keep going along here. This is just the... This, this looks like it. Like, honestly, this looks like the one that I... The, the, but, this is the one I just came in. This is this is the one I just squeezed myself through sideways. I must I must be not I must be missing something then. I must be missing a way down. That I haven't no I haven't seen. Let's go down this geyser. Yeah, I can't go any further in that one. That's up.
That's got me a little further down. That's the main entrance again. What the hell? I'm just beating the damn sea truck up and running my battery down, going round and round in circles. Let's let's get out of here and continue going on the route I was going on a moment ago. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Yeah, let's carry on going this way. There's another crevice. This is going to be the one. Come on. This is going to be the one. Yeah, this is going to be the one. I was able I was able to drive right in no problems with the C truck. This is definitely the one where I would have been out of driving with modules. Yep, and then it's down here. Yeah, here we are. Here we are. Perfect. Found it. I, I knew I was going down the wrong one. Sweet. Now I'll be able to load up all the diamonds and rubies that I want. And collect all the pieces to the pro... Oh, as long as my depth allows. Hoping 300 meters is going to be enough for the vast majority of what I need to do down here. Well, if not, at least we've found how to get in and then we'll come back after we've made the upgrade to the depth module. <laughs> I think the second level takes you to like 600 meters. It's been it's been so long since I played. Ah, Ruby. There we go. Exactly what we want. Have it. There we go. Ruby. Ruby. Sweet. Let's see how much further down we can get. How far that 50 meters of depth gets us. Oh, and they've got the geothermal. The bits to the geothermal generator here as well. I wanted to make one of those. Thermal plant. Okay. It's basically a geothermal generator. Seek fluid intake. Here we go. We have a new blueprint. Okay, let's carry on. We've still got quite a few meters on our depth, and this is where we start to get some bits of the prawn. And you want to stay there. You do not want to come here. No, you, you don't. I, I, can, I can tell. You want to stay there. Good boy. There's another ruby. Ruby. Ruby, 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 ruby. Yeah, this is a, this is a cool place to come in with the prawn. Loads of materials here. Mine out all of those things. I mean, just that just that spike of ruby alone gives you a whole bunch. Prawn suit. Drill arm. Two main things. Basically the only things I ever make. Can't scan that. Let's get the torch. Ah! PDA! Aurora. Oh! No, go away, go away. I didn't notice that you were there. Leave me alone. Don't want a box. 
Where's the... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Another bit of ruby I can collect. I seem to remember there being a data box here as well. I think that's I think that's one level further down. That'll be another interesting new piece of tech. Oh, and these are where the sealed crates are. I don't have the uh, laser cutter. There we go. Yeah, three fragments. I, I think you can get all three of the laser cutter fragments down here. So. I have to come back anyway. There we go. Let's carry on going. Only 30 meters left to my depth. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to park the sea truck at the top of the next area and go and swim in. But that won't be a problem. Prawn suit fragment number two. I think we only need three of them. No, four. Ah. Oh. Another drill arm. Sweet. We've got the drill arm, copper wire, floodlight. Yeah, I wanted to make some of those. Light up the uh, the hill opposite my base. Nothing else. I seem to. Rem yeah, there's an upgrade here. Yeah, cool. Jump jets. Oh, and there's another another one over here. So that's three of four. And then I think the last one we can get when we go down into the... No, go away. Go away. Leave me alone. Go and box some fish. Here's a fish there. Box him. Go away. Yeah, then there's the uh, architect thing to our left, and then the main chamber, main mining chamber down to the right. I think we're going to have to park the sea truck up here somewhere, and then swim into both of them. It'd be okay if we already had at least one, uh, at least the level two upgrade, but without it, we're going to have to do without the sea truck. We'll go to the architect first. We'll go in as far as we can. Well, I can't scan that. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Architect artifact. Alien stone. Let's give this place a good look around. Quantum locker. Oh yes, diamond, sweet. I've already got both of the things that I was looking for, diamond and ruby. Just need I need a little more, little bit more diamond to be honest. Use a bit more di creature egg, don't want that. Oh damn, I forgot I need to drink. Vital signs stabilizing. Let's get some oxygen. Is that it? Is there nothing else? I'll go on then I'll bring one of these creature eggs. It's probably one of those thumper things. Like boxing crab or whatever it's called. Is that it? One diamond. Okay, fair enough. Go back to the sea truck and go in the opposite direction. back. There we are. Oh, there's another ruby. Yoink. Nothing else? Nothing else. Yeah. That's the last chamber. If I can, if I can keep it Oh, I remember now. I remember now. I came, I came this far. 
I came, I came this far the last time. It was the exact same situation. I only had the level one. You just park at the top of this thing here. You can, you can come all the way up to here safely, and then you have to swim down from here. Yeah, I remember now. It's all coming back. Headlamp. Useful? Don't know. More ruby. It's a fish. It's probably some titanium. Silver. Okay, sweet. Okay. Let's top up the oxygen. And then go for a little swim at the bottom. Get our last... Get our last prawn suit fragment and hopefully some more diamond. There's a ruby. Go away. Go away. I just wasn't trying to say hello. Seek fluid intake. Oh, leave me alone with the fluid intake already. Vital signs stabilizing. Well, there's the prawn suit bit. Let's quickly scan that. Then we'll be able to make ourselves a prawn suit. Is there, is there no more diamond down here? I could have sworn there was more diamond down here. There's ruby over there in that corner. But is... Is there any I can actually pick up, or am I going to have to go back and make a prawn suit to return? There's another drill suit, or drill arm. That's a vein of diamond, I think. Yeah. But is there no is there no, no little bits of diamond I can pick up around it? Oh. I was hoping there'd be more diamond. It's a little bit of a letdown. More ruby, at least. Well, I guess I've got the one diamond I found now, and I've got I think I've got one left back at the base. Hopefully that'll be enough to make what I need to make the uh, prawn suit. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, 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 shut up. I'll be fine. That's a copper vein, but I also need the prawn to drill at that. Titanium, titanium, titanium. Nothing on the roof? The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. Nothing on the roof, the ceiling, whatever you want to call it. It's a little disappointing. I thought there was going to be more that I could pick up. Ruby. That's the diamond. That's more titanium. That's more diamonds over there. Well, there's a bunch of diamond here, but I'm going to have to come back with the prawn. But at least I, I can I can make the uh, I can make the upgrade to the 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 sea truck depth module at least. That's a win. And I got all the bits for the I got all the bits for the prawn suit scan that I'm really interested in. Okay, well it's a win, still a win. We don't we don't have to go go off looking for diamond just yet. Oh, wait. Is that one? Yes, that's a diamond. Sweet. Yoink. Thank you very much. Now I have three. Double check. 
I swam right past that. There's another ruby that I, that I came right past. You want to go away from my ruby? Yeah, thank you. Give this place a good once over. There was a diamond and a ruby I already swam past that I just noticed now. Nothing there, that's a fish. It's so convenient that they happen to put the fish that are red and white that look just like rubies in the area where you find rubies. So every time you turn around you catch a glint of one of those guys and you think you're seeing a ruby when it's actually just a fish. But I'm going to have to go out through the crevice as well because you can't get the sea truck out any other way. Been down there. Make sure to keep looking around because you might still find another ever elusive diamond. Who knows? No, nothing there. Oh, and there were no more laser cutter fragments. I think I think I'll stop off at the Mercury on my way home because I seem to remember there being more laser cutter fragments there. The laser cutter is really useful, and it it's basically needed to complete certain parts of it. So better to get it sooner rather than later, and we can get on with things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I won't be able to pick that up anyway. It'd be a waste. No more diamonds in here. Or here. Let's see. Nothing on the ceiling here. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Diamond. Score. Yoink. You're going home with me. Anything here? Come on. You hiding? Where are you hiding, diamonds? Is that one? Oh yes, that's one. And a ruby. Damn, son, that's a good score. Drink up so we can actually pick it up. And another one. Cool. Oh man. Oh, don't want that bloody thing. I'd rather take diamonds with me. I was complaining about there not being enough down there, but there's a whole bunch up here that I didn't notice on the way down. Cool. Let's give it, give it a good once over. Make sure there's nothing else we're forgetting. That's where I found the first one. Nothing up there on that wall. The ceiling. No, nothing there. Okay, well, that seems to be it for this area. Let's carry on up. <coughs> carry on going up slowly. Make sure to look around. That's like what? Three or four? Four that I would have missed if I hadn't been paying attention on the way back. Oh, there we go, number five. Oh, yes. <laughs> five diamonds. Oh, 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 five. <laughs> oh, and there's six, six diamonds. Oh, oh, oh. I don't have enough room for it, though, do I? Oh, I do. Cool. Yoink. I'm a happy camper. Got a bunch of rubies, bunch of diamonds. Sweet. Now we have to do is get back and make a prawn. Some depth upgrades. What's in here? Anything interesting? It's the box. Sealed box. 
nothing on this platform. No? No, it's just a light. Anything on this platform? Nothing on this platform. Yeah, and I'll be sure to look around this room as well then, because I don't didn't do a particularly good job of looking around the other rooms. There might be... Oh, yeah, there you go. See? Another fucking data box and a ruby. Yoink. Yes, moon pool. Oh, yes. Sweet. And uh, another laser cutter fragment. Just need to open my eyes. It's all here. Come on, don't be stingy. Give me one one more laser cutter fragment. Go on, you know you want to. Then I don't have to go anywhere else looking for it. What have we got? We've got nothing on the ceiling here. Let's look around, look around. Nothing on the walls. Nothing on the walls. Nothing there. And then we've basically come full circle, I believe. Do one more time around. Come on. See? 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 It's another ruby. Um. <sighs> what am I gonna? I'll just eat some more then, I guess. Another ruby. Go on and let's scan you if you keep flashing at me. Red feather fish. Go. Now you'll stop flashing at me. Well, let's check in here behind the main door because I don't, I didn't, I didn't check down here because this isn't the way I came in. Just to make sure there's nothing here that I've missed. Nothing there. Nothing here by the looks of it, nothing on the ceiling. And I'll actually go and give this exterior a look around as well, because I came down with the uh I came down with the sea truck, but I didn't really look around much. So I was just trying to get in. Ah, there we go. What are you? What are you? Oh, builder. For a minute there I was getting Happy that it's the uh, laser cutter fragment I needed. Can't pick you up anyway. Gold, silver, lithium. Got more than enough of that for now. No laser cutter? No? No laser cutter? Uh, oh, never mind. We scored a nice hole. Lots of ruby and diamond. <clears throat> yeah, I'll make a bunch of stuff with this. Got myself a glass of water, but I didn't bother drinking any of it, did I? Throat's all dry from talking a lot. Ah, there we go. It's better. Well, okie dokie, let's make our way out. And just try and remember where it is that we come out further up so we can find our way back here again easy. 
Is that gold? That looks like gold that I can pick up. That's silver. Let's just check around here. Let's see what their their thermal thermal generator upgrade would be nice if there is one for this. I can't remember. Like it had for the Cyclops, where if you're in hot water, then it it charged the battery. Yeah, and we're up another level. Look around, look around. Check out all these little caverns. Make sure there isn't anything here interesting. Well, it's all interesting, but I can't pick it up right now. I mean, like, a laser cutter fragment, maybe? Or a diamond? Yeah, this is... Uh, this is as far as I came when I came down here just with the sea glider. I, rem I, did this, I remember this egg being next to the next to a, a vent. I came I came down this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I remember I remember this now. I came in, but. I, I only had the sea glider at the time. Am I? Can I even get out of here with here with this? Well, it seems like we squeezed our way through. There, you see, this is where I came. This is where I came in with the sea glider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I came in with the sea glider. Okay, we've got that down. How do I, well, where do I get out with this? Up here, here we go. Go on, have it. Get out of here. Go on. Came in so easily, there we go. Oh, there's another one of you. Go away. No diamonds? No diamonds. Come on. Don't have time to mess around. I want out. <laughs> Ugh. Came in so easily. must be the wrong hole. I remember coming in really easily. Let's try again. Before we give up. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't you dare be stuck. Oh, come on already. I can see the light. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I'll have a drink when I get out of this hole. Come on. This must be, there, there must be a different one. I remember, I, I, I basically just breezed through the hole. That's that's the way I was talking about that I came in with the sea glide. There we go, see? This is this is the way out. Come on. I can't be at the same bloody place, can I? No, I'm not. I am. Guarantee you I am. Or No, this doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem right. I remember coming in in a narrow 
a narrow little valley of like a crevice. That's not it, and the other one's not it. So easy to get lost down here. Come on. You made it through it once to get me into that room. There we go. Thank you. There we go. Okay. That's where I just came from. And I went down there looking to see if that was an exit. Found it. See? Told you. Little valley of a crevice. And this is where it's easy to come in. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. But, will I remember how to get out of there again? There's more, more to the left side. As I came through the first crevice from the mining area, it was more towards the left, and I, I went to the right originally. Okay. Now we have to figure out how to remember where this is. Because I didn't bring a bloody beacon with me. We are... on the east-east-south side of the island. And then there's... Ah, that crevice is pretty damn... It's only 430 meters from home. That's pretty damn memorable, if you ask me. Come. What's that? 10 degrees off of southwest. Okay, I'll write that down. 10 degrees off of southwest. I'll make sure to bring a beacon with me next. Yeah, I'll write that down because I'll remember. I won't. I'll get it beacon. We'll put the beacon down in the mouth of the entrance and we can find our way there again easily. Cool. Well that was a result. Got everything we were looking for. Basically first try. The first, well the first outing we came back and we got all the spiral plants that we wanted. That was like the secondary goal, but we got that first, and then we came back to get diamonds and ruby, and we stopped up on both. That's sweet. Oh, and got the prawn suit. Oh, and the moon pool. Oh, <laughs> it's like, and, 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 and. Definitely making the moon pool straight away. Like, right, this is, I'm going to offload what I've got. Probably have to make some lockers to put it all away, but such is life. Do I have any new music yet? No. <laughs> that one song. Okay, that's copper, lead. What do we have on us? Silver, titanium, silver over here, manufactured stuff over here. Put the jump, ch jump upgrade in there. Do I have the, um, I don't have the other type of charger yet, do I? Damn, that scared the shit out of me. Vital signs stabilizing. Check 
this needs any of that. Then I'm eating it all. I want fluids. No. Oh. Gimme, gimme, gimme. We need water. There we go. Do I still have this turned on? Damn. Well, that's that's pretty amazing, to be honest. I've had this scan. I've had the scan room turned on, scanning for diamond, for like the past shit. God knows, probably over an hour, and I haven't stocked the bio reactor in the whole time. This usually sucks power like a crazy person. Look at all them diamonds. Damn, son. Where are we? That's where we are. And then what did I say? 10 degrees off of southwest. That's not the... Yeah, that's the cave system. Or at least part of it. Look at all those diamonds we haven't picked up yet. Jesus Christ. I'll be looking forward to making the range upgrade. Where is it? Yeah, I still need the magnetite for that, though. I so don't want to turn this off to, to see if I can scan for magnetite yet. Because then I'll, I'll lose all the, all the work it's done scanning for diamonds. I haven't seen it scan like this before. I mean, supposedly, this is the range that it's set to at the moment, 300 meters. So why it's scanned for all of this that's over here, I don't know. Maybe it's it, it still it still scans for the no, but that's 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 weird. Because like what you can see, like the the holographic representation of the of the land, is its range, and they put the base and the scanner room here on purpose so that after upgrading it to its well. The maximum range that I'm going to want to give it, which is going to be about four, maybe 500 meters. So I, I, I probably have a, a speed upgrade in there, and then the rest of, with range upgrades, and I'll put that HUD chip on myself so I can actually see what it's scanning. I think I think it's I think it's a hundred meters. Yeah, because normally I put a speed upgrade in there as well, and I go I go up to five hundred meter scan range with two upgrades, range upgrades. Then I should be able to holographically see the rest of this area. That that's weird. That's weird and interesting. Take a little screenshot of that. And you still don't need anything. That's so bizarre. It's been running off of those four shrub nuts for the past three hours. And at least one of those hours I've had the scanner room turned on. I didn't even realize. Okay. We need titanium. Take four. And we will make some lockers. Yeah, that's where the yeah, that's where the moon pool's going. We'll put that in, and we can finally put some lockers in other places. Two titanium ingots. What was it? Two lead? Oh, I can't pin that. Two ingots and two lead. No, that's the gold and silver. Ah, oh, you've got to be shitting me. I'm missing one lead. Okay, we found a place to put the diamonds and ruby, at least, in the meantime. Take the lead. And then we'll make the... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll make the two ingots. I love the moon pool. It's, it's so cool. It looks cool, and the way it functions is cool. Sweet. And then a lubricant we should also have over here. Yeah. 
Now I just need to go find some lead, which is probably going to be over there somewhere. Come on, lead. Come on, lead. That's copper. That it gives me titanium. Come on. Yes, first outing. Do we have everything for the moon pool now? Oh, yes. Sweet. Moon pool incoming. I'm really hoping it's going to let me put it here. I'm really hoping. This is what I had planned. You want to go away? Go away. Don't eat somewhere else. You're going to be in the way of my moon pool. Yes! Sweet! It's exactly where I wanted to put it. <laughs> cool. And it's a bloody good thing that I put some reinforcements on that base, because I guarantee you him doing that around my base is damaging it. So here we've got a nice flat-ish area underneath the moon pool that we can jump into it with the prawn suit. Isn't that just cool? This reminds me, you know what this reminds me of? Uh, oh, I had it on the tip of my tongue. It's that... <coughs> excuse me. Well, what one of them is Deep Blue Sea. The, the one with Ice Cube where he plays a chef. And then the, there's the other one. That's got Morgan Freeman in it, I think, but he gets killed quite early on. Not Morgan Freeman. Idiot. Samuel L. Jackson. And then there's the other one, Sphere. This almost, always, always reminds me of those. Uh, what did I want to do? I want to move some of the posters so we can actually get this place. I'll leave that there. That one. That one. No, pick up the poster. There we go. Didn't put any here, did I? No. We'll put. Where's the Mercury? We'll put the Mercury one on this wall. There. And then. Oh. I can never tell which side it is that it's gonna. It's gonna pull the vehicle to. Well, let's bring the sea truck in, and then we can we can see. Moon pool, moon pool. I'm happy with Batman moon pool. Yeah, it turns me around. I'm, I'm almost of the mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna change that. I'm going to change that by disassembling it and reassembling it, but in the opposite orientation. Oh, they actually fixed that as well. That's sweet. Getting in from the top used to be a slightly different animation. Okay. Deconstruct. And then we'll reconstruct it. But I seem I, I seem to remember scrolling down to twist it. So I'll scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And I want to scroll up one because that's the orientation I want it in. So theoretically, if that has any credence to it, Nope. It's 
turning me around again. Okay, so I scrolled down this time. So I know which direction I scrolled. I made, made note of it. It's possible that the first time I did it, I actually scrolled up. Run another test, because it doesn't take very long. And if I can get it to not turn me around, so I just drive up to it, basically, and then it picks me up would be the coolest. Well, come on. Deconstruct. And reconstruct. So then we just scroll down one to get it turned in the orientation we want. And then place it. If it still picks me up, then, then the way that it's oriented when you're building it makes no odds. Yeah, still turns me around. Okay, never mind. But we get out on this side, so that's the side we're going to want to make the modification thing. I can't remember what it's called now. Interior, this one. Vehicle upgrade consoles. We need three titanium, a computer chip, and wire. Where are you? There you are. One, two, three, titanium. Copper wire, and I'm going to need more copper wire, and table coral, and gold. Thank God I've got enough gold. What was that thing? Weird. What do we get here? Headlamp. Battery powered all of my headlamp and light source. Yeah, but is that something you have to have equipped or there's no, there's no spot for it? If I have to have that on instead of the rebreather, I'd rather swim around in the dark, to be quite honest. Quantum locker. That can be cool. I, I, I used that the first time I played through. That's that's an interesting thing. Yeah, you, ha you have one place that you base and then you take one with you. Then the one that you take with you, you put down and you put things into it basically a way of extending your extending your inventory and where else was there new stuff prawn suit upgrades depth module I need the synthetic fibers but I, all I need to make that is go and get some more creep vine I've got that because I picked it up it's a good thing I picked up so many diamonds because I'm definitely making that I'm definitely making that drill arm and I need an enamel glass, so that's diamonds as well, and three ruby. But, before we get sidetracked, we want to make a computer chip. Copper wire, computer chip. You see? And I'm so silly. I've already forgotten which direction it spat me out. I think it was this one. Come on, repair. I really banged that up, didn't I? Is it not charging it? Oh, it is charging. Okay, cool. Okay, let's... Come on, pick me up. I get out to the right. Yeah, okay, so this is where we're going to put the modification thing. Upgrade console. There or there? We'll put it closer to the door so we don't have to walk as far. Cool. Stop charging. Okay, now we can change stuff. Call it the dagger and the base color will be one red black stripe 
Let's go for a nice, cool-looking blue. There, yeah, nice, cool-looking blue stripe. Make the interior. How can I get a decent gray? It's more teal. I just want a gray. There. Darkish gray. There we go, darkish gray. Done. Yeah, that's the one. And then let's have a look. This is where we can actually fabricate the modules as well. We've got a Mark 1. Oh, but you can't actually take the... Yeah, okay, I remember now. You can't actually take the modules out. That's a little bit crappy. If the cut that when the color's black, it doesn't change the color of the name, so you can actually see it easy. Let's take Z module out so that we can upgrade it. Now that we have everything to upgrade it, which is oh, prawn suit. Okay, synthetic fibers, two ruby, and enameled glass. We're out of crystal, though, aren't we? Oh, no, we have enough just for that. What's the synthetic fibers? Ruby and spiral clipping. We're going to need two synthetic fibers, because there was something else I know I wanted to do. I put that in the lead. There we go. We're just flying along now. Gonna just need to make that prawn <coughs> go back there and har harvest the rest of those diamonds and rubies, and we'll be we'll be really flying along. Okay, 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 okay. Two rubies and enameled glass. Enameled glass. I needed lead for that, didn't I? And I just used up all my lead. Yeah, I need to go and look for more lead. Well, I need more crystal as well anyway. So we'll put all of this, put these posters up, get it out of our inventory. Put focus on this side. Uh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put focus on this side. And as we're getting out, we'll put the sea truck. I think we'll put the sea truck as far over here as it will let us. Like so. That's such a cool poster. If, I, I don't know. They, they might actually sell these things. But if they, if they sold some of the posters from in-game, or if you could just get like the art, in a decent quality. I'd totally have that poster on my wall in real life. Mercury 2. Here we go. Keep calm. Keep trucking. That one there. Keep calm and truck on. And then the Mercury 2 we'll put in here. That's a cool spaceship. That's a cool spaceship. Okay. Uh, what did I need? Lead. And crystal. But it's dark anyway, so we'll put some stuff away. And we will have a little sleep. I need to get more... More bladder fish as well. Low on water. Be nice when I get the water filtration device thing. Get two of those going on the upper deck next to the bio generator. Um, I'll be sorted for water. That's still still trucking. A little breakfast. A little more. There we go. Lovely. Now we go and look for. Do I not have? A, I don't have a normal battery on me. 
Why don't I have a normal battery on me? I'd rather make one, to be quite honest, than take another one out of the charger. Ah, there it is. I knew I had more batteries. Well, anyway, while I've got the materials on me, I'll make that battery. I'll use it up later, making more power cells anyway. Okay. Okay. Oh, I need, I need to change the battery in two things. So I can put those two away. Change the battery in that. And we change the battery. No, it's the wrong battery. Oh, I only kept one battery, didn't I? Idiot. We have to put those two on charge anyway. There we go, sweet, and I've got an extra. That's the way I like it. Now we can go and get some lead and crystal. I seem to remember there was some crystal down here somewhere. Silver. Maybe titanium. Copper. It's all good. I'm gonna use it all. Go away. Where are you? It's one of those reef sharks. Yeah, there he is. Yes. Oh, look, and a bunch more table coral again. Oh, go away, would you? I'm going to kill you now. Annoy me. Where'd you go? There he is, dead. Is that what you wanted? Is that what you wanted? Went and killed you. i kill you. Brute shark. I thought that was the reef shark. I'm probably I'm probably mixing it up with something from Subnautica again. Now oh, I've got enough space. We'll take some more. I just used some up anyway. Well, there's only one, and I always need two, so we'll take it in pairs. Oh, oxygen. <laughs> Pretty important part. Still didn't find any lead though. Speaking of which, and it wasn't lead. Come on, give me a bit of lead, please. Be nice. It's going to be copper, not titanium. At least be copper. It's titanium. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yes, lead. Come on, come on, we can make it to the moon pool at least. Oxygen. There was an o I just I swam past an oxygen plant. I just noticed it from the corner of my eye. <laughs> that was that was a little closer than I'd like to admit. Okay. Let's get back to it. See, there's an oxygen plant right there, and I swear, and another one there. <laughs> that would be rich. Drowning literally meters away from a oxygen plant, and I'm still looking for crystal and lead. Go away! I don't want to kill you too. It probably would be easier though, because I don't respawn for a while. And at least they wouldn't be bothering me all the time. That's copper or titanium. That's yoink crystal. Is that lead? Looks like it. No, that's crystal. Looks a little different from the distance. That's copper. Yeah. 
I don't want to change the scan it scanner room. Oh, is that another fragment? Oh, that's another fragment. See, oh, it's a normal sea truck fragment. What are you? Mobile vehicle, but they have got one of those already. More crystal, more crystal, more crystal. Right, let's go back and empty out. Looking for lead in just a moment. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. There we go. I didn't I didn't make the uh, I got all excited about the moon pool and made the moon pool. I didn't put any more lockers in. Let's put the lockers in so we can actually put things away. Oh, come off it. That's probably because of that thing. You can normally put lockers there. Oh. I'll have to put one there then. And we'll take that poster off. I don't like that one. Put that up here where we're not going to see it as often. Can we put another one there? Yes, we can. Okay, what we're going to put in is we'll put our crystal in here for now. And here's the copper, lead, titanium. Silver, Ganix, and we can go out again. We've got the uh, we've got the crystal, and we've got a bunch of the other things that we didn't actually need right now, but we've got some more of. We just need the lead. We've got one lead, but I don't want to get just one lead. There we go. That's lead. Yes, lead. And hopefully there's more. Oh, look, more crystal, silver. It's copper. That's crystal. That's crystal. That's all copper or titanium. That's silver. I'll go on. You know, you know, it's always the way that if we don't pick these up now, then the next time we're going to be in a bigger batch of crafting, we're going to need, we're going to be low on exactly what we didn't pick up now. Sod's law. I want lead. Give me lead. Is that lead? That's silver. Oh, it is. Yeah, and of course, I get titanium from it. What was that? Is that lithium? Let's get some oxygen. Catch our breath. Continue. <laughs> Titanium again. Yeah, that's lithium. We've got more, more, more of that than we can shake a stick at. There was a lot of it on the purple bent planes. Please be led. Please be led. Learn. Thank you. And I've got room for one more. Come on. That's copper. That's silver. 
Come on, one of you guys be led. Yes, you are led. Titanium. Is that lead? That's lead. If that's lead, I'm going to drop something to pick it up. Lead. Lovely. We will have a drink. Toast to the lead. Oh, and another fragment, uh, but I can't pick that up right now. Yeah, I'm going to have to come out exploring that area as well soon. I know there's a the more sea truck fragments down there. And of different modules as well. Did I get all of the parts to the other module in the end? No, I'm still missing one for the sleeper module. That was where I got attacked by that Leviathan. That was a funny one. Just chugging along in my sea truck and I'm like oh I remember this place further down from those vents deeper down there's a leviathan there and I didn't go 50 meters further forward and the damn thing gets a hold of me I could have sworn it was like like deeper down at least like like 200 250 meters plus and I was at like a hundred and something meters and the damn thing comes up and bites me Okay, so we were in the middle of upgrading that, and we need the enamel glass. So we were getting the lead. Put that away, and we need to get diamonds. And we need to make some glass to enamel it. Was it one or two? I don't want to go wasting there. There's one. I know I'm going to need enamel glass for something else. So No, we're going to make what we need. Yeah, we're not going to waste things. Because if I, if I make two of those now, I guarantee when it comes to making the prawn and I want to make the drill arm, I'm, not, I'm going to be like missing one diamond. Okay, and then two rubies and the synthetic fibers. Synthetic fiber, and I put the rubies in here. Put the lead away. Glass away. The titanium away. Now we can make the Mark II upgrade. Sweet! And see that we're going to need some nickel. That's not that hard. It's the kyanite I have a problem with. You have to go... I think you have to go all the way into the purple caves for that stuff. Which is a bit of a bore. Even, the, even that needs kyanite and nickel. Well... To be fair, the prawn suit by itself and then with the, the Mark 1 upgrade goes to a much greater depth than the sea truck does, so uh, that's to its credit. And then what we got here, prawn suit upgrades. We'll make those as we go on. Let's put that back in Seamoth. Seamoth. Keep talking about this original Subnautica stuff. I've got to get it through my head. 650 meters. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Excuse me. Got the hiccups. <clears throat> oh, come on. Shut up. Well, this is a new locker. Paper, because it excess titanium in there. We'll put our diamonds and lithium away. And we'll go up to the... We'll go up to the mobile thingy. The mobile thingy, you know?
and then we will, we will, we will pin that. Go modules. Yeah, I don't know the ingredients to that yet. Still need one more. Okay, so plasteel, enamel glass, and a chip. And I might as well, yeah, I've got enough batteries. I'll make another battery because I like having a spare in case I need to change on the way. I've got enough rubber. We'll make another power cell. And then we need one, two, three, four, five titanium to make the ingot. Yep, and we need two lithium on top of that to make that, and then the enamel glass again. So we got that, is it lead and glass? Yeah, enamel glass and a chip. So we need two copper. It was, what is it, gold? Oh, I need to go and get gold as well. And that. Uh, and what have we got? We've got copper wire. Chip. Sweet. That's a prawn suit right there, baby. What? Yes. So we're going to take the truck out of the moon pool. It would be really nice to have another moon pool. I know you can... Ah! Oh, damn. Well, I guess I could just... I could put it here, couldn't I? I could put it there. It would be nice to have them side by side. It would be really nice to have them side by side. I don't... I don't, I don't think it would let me put it here. Well, let's see. I don't have to have the materials to see if it will let me place it. And see, I can't tell. Can you actually put it directly next to it? Like that, I know you can only connect it like that. But is that panel the only thing stopping it from putting it there? Can they actually physically connect like that? Or can it only can it only be like that? Because if it's only like that, then it's obviously not letting me let, let, blah, 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 not letting me do it. Because of some other obstruction. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not going to fit there. Because that's the wall over there can't stack them obviously because you have to exit out of the bottom can we turn it no it still won't let, it, let me put it there Warning. yeah 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 just having let me have my fun with my moon pools Yeah, if I did, if I wanted to do it a little other, little differently, and have them side by side, I'd have to put, I'd have to put one of those connecting tubes, the eye compartment there, and then have it connect to the eye compartment. Then the end of it would end up about here somewhere, Warning. and then it, it, how, what the hell? I just came up to completely replenish my oxygen. What's your problem? Oh, did it not? Oh, okay. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. And of course an email comes in. Never mind. It's not for me, but I'll shoot them back a response. Well received. Motion.
dun, 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 dun. Send, lovely, continue. Sorry, just had to reply to an email. Okay, yep, oh, yep, I was making the prawn, but I got sidetracked again by Zimunpool. I mean, there's a couple of different ways I could go about it. Yeah, I need to, I need to put a little bit of thought into it now, because it, it, uh, it, depending on what I want, if I do want two moon pools, it would be nice to get that out of the way now before I start filling up the walls of the moon pool with all kinds of stuff. I mean, I'd have to disassemble some things as it is anyway. But, like, if I put... Then I'd connect it with a glass eye compartment, even though that lowers the overall structural integrity of the base. I'd put, like, two glass eye compartments on there. And then... And then, uh, what do you call it? One of these T compartments, which you can't make out of glass, unfortunately. Yeah? So then, that's one eye compartment, that's two eye compartments, and the T would be here. And I could have one moon pool over here. Yeah? So that could be like the sea truck one. Yeah? Let's back up a bit. Yeah, so that's one compartment, two compartment. T, yeah, and then I'd have the moon pool so it connects to the, the T through that bit there. Do you want to go away? Are you all the way up there and making that much noise? Yeah, so that one compartment, two compartment, T, so that moon pool, yeah, that, it's questionable whether it would actually let me put that there. Go away. Go away. Good boy. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. This is one thing I see they haven't fixed in the bugs. Okay, never mind. Uh, damn, I've got a lot of Arctic peepers on that thing, man. <laughs> oh, and a uh, bladderfish. Let's grab him while I still can. Yeah, it's a lot of walking, though. It's a lot of walking to get to where you want to go. I think it's just, I'll, I'll just, I'll i will do it simple. Yeah, we'll just have one moon pool, and then we'll switch things out like I normally do. Well, I, I have had a situation where I had three moon pools. So I always had a sea truck in reserve. We'll keep the sea truck right there. Yeah? That's where you're going to live. If you're not charging or getting repaired. Just hope I can... Uh, I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to pick up this thing and turn it around. And place it so that do you want to go away? Go away. And we'll place it. So that when the prawn suit... Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Gets made. It falls in a place that isn't a cre <laughs> crevasse. Because it, it falls down and it doesn't stop. It just keeps going. If I'd done that there, then it probably would have fallen into one of the valleys. It might have been difficult to get it out. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. And that puts me out on the left. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay, so then we take this and we style you. What are you going to be called? What are you going to be called? The other one's the dagger. 
What should we call the prawn? What shall we call the prawn? We'll think about that. We'll leave that for now. Yeah, and we'll make this also black. And then we'll put that nice, where are you? Nice cool. I can't see the blue. F oh, there it is. Okay. Give it a nice cool blue stripe. And a darkish gray. And th oh, the name. I can change the color of the name here. I didn't notice that. Okay, sorry. There we go. Should I make that blue as well? Oh, that's still the grays. Yeah, that's there we go. That's the one. I'll change that on the truck as well then. I didn't notice that before. Done. Sweet. Look at that. Jet black sexiness. Okay. And now we make a drilling arm. So we need four diamonds, five. Can I? Can I pin that? Oh, I can. Sweet. I want to unpin that though. Bond suit unpin. So we need lithium. One, one, two, three, four, five, titanium, and four diamonds. Let's bet. I can't remember how many diamonds I have left, but I think I have six. So I'm going to have two left. Which is kind of cutting it close, because I know I'm going to need to make plasteel again. Six. There you go. I knew it. Well, good thing is... Oh, and I want to take the rest of the lead with me as well, because I want to make... I want to make some foundations. No, as far as I remember, that needs lead. Yeah. Two, oh, it's two lead for one foundation. God damn. Never mind. Drill arm, drill arm, drill arm, drill arm. Let's go back to the mines to drill. Yes. Yeah, and now we also want a... Well, it's, this can also take four upgrades, can't it? And we've got... Where did I put that? I put that there. We've got that. That goes in the arm slot, so it doesn't take up an upgrade. And then I can put in, if I remember correctly, I can put in two, but I'm going to need more titanium for that. I can put in two storage upgrades, so there's one on either side. Storage module. Yeah, and if not, then I've wasted the lithium, because I mean, titanium basically grows on trees. Yeah, jump module. Yes, sweet. I didn't want to get in. Ah, oh, never mind. Oh, it put the. <laughs> It put the drill arm. Oh, I didn't put the drill arm in. Oh. There we go. Seek fluid intake. Oh, God. Always with the water. Vital Speaking of which, I need to drink some myself. Cool. Ah. They haven't got rid of that bug either. Look at that. Still bubbles moving through here. Okay, so... Uh, what did I want to check? I wanted to check something when I accidentally got in. Oh yeah, this. If I put that there... Isn't it that there's storage that's accessible in different parts? 
But what other what other upgrade modules are there? There's a the depth, but that keeps getting upgraded. I've got the storage module. That's the drill arm. The jump jet. Is that it? Well, I wouldn't be I won't be able to tell right now if there are more. I know there's arm wise, there's still the torpedo arm. There's the propulsion arm and the repulsion arm and the the one I normally go for. I can't remember what they call it now. The, the, is it the, grappler, the grappling arm? It's just upgrade wise. I can't remember whether that I think there might be an engine efficiency one for this one. Or if that's not it, then possibly... Is there defense for the prawn? I, I forget now. It's been so long, I can't remember. I think there's defense. Anyway, for now, I want to be able to... I want to be able to... Well, I'm going to... In all honesty, I'm going to give it a Google. Or look it up on Wikipedia, should I say. Because... I want to be sure. What is it? Subnautica below zero prawn suit where a storage module. There we go. When installing the prawn, add up row of six storage spaces in the prawn suit, six by four inventory up to four. Oh, so you can. And stack with each other. Each one adding a row of six storage spaces from a six. They stack. Hang on. Oh. It must mean total of four like this. For a minute there, I thought it actually like physically meant stack. Well, anyway, then we're going to make another one. So that was lithium and titanium. We're going to make another one for now. So that we can actually go and get all the more diamonds and ruby when we go back to the mines. And if we do get another type of upgrade for like protection or energy conservation or something like that that would be of greater use later down the line we'll change it out I don't mind you know, quote unquote wasting because it's not exactly wasting but oh I did it again it's not what I wanted to do I wanted to I wanted to check that storage to see what it looks like now And it gave me some... Oh, never mind. It was giving me some directions on the screen as to, like, left shift and something. Yeah, that's that. I, I want to open storage. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. But these... These two rows are added from the first two, and then that one's added by the X. So you can make it one longer. But, <coughs> excuse me, I, I like the jump jets too much to just go for all out storage. Okay, let's go and see what's on the thing. We definitely want you. We might as well take you and cook you because we've run out of salt. And you, and you. I need more bladder fish. I want water. Before we head out again on a long journey. Well, let's make the foundation, shall we? Get that out of the way. See if we even can make it where I want to put it. It won't let me make anything under the moon pool. 
That's a little disappointing. I can put it there, but I can't put it there. Not even if I turn it? No, it's not even letting me turn it. That's disappointing. I was hoping to put one there. But anyway, where I will put one is over here somewhere, if it will let me. Or is it even worth it at this point? I put one here? No. I put one there, and I put one there. I'm gonna shut up. I like having them there like that because and I could have grow beds. Like if I put it there, then I could have grow beds over on that side. Yeah, we'll put that there. There we go. And then we're going to need to get... Oh yeah, uh, cool tip. The... Uh... Oh, let's not do cool tips while we're about to drown. So, we're not going to drown now. If you want to traverse an area, it's a little bit of... I don't, I, they, they might have patched this out of it, yeah? But basically, if you go to build something, yeah? And you don't you don't even have to complete building it, yeah? It's already see, physically see. there. So, yeah, see, I can't swim through this. It's like it's actually there. So, you can do this, and you can put a bunch of foundations across an area and you can walk across it so for example where you need to and you can do that with basically any structure where if, if you can put down a, if you, it'll let you build a structure like place it you don't have to physically start building it out but you can walk on that already so where you have to get hydraulic fluid for example to get across that bridge you don't have to make the hydraulic fluid to get across the bridge. You do to advance the storyline, yeah, but you don't to get across it. You can just place foundations across the uh, across the gap and basically run and jump across. And you don't actually have to physically build the foundations. You just put down the beginnings of it. People tend to use that trick to. <coughs> Or at least from what I've heard, protect their base. So that if they put... If, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm... What am I not? Yeah? Amused. Do I have any salt? That was salt. Yeah, there we go. I'll cure one of them. And we'll cook him. I'm going to have to cook him as well. I'm pretty low on, on hunger. And we eat you. We eat you. Drink you. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some serious water hunting. Oh, hang on. I've got the jump upgrade in there, but I didn't even think about the depth upgrade yet. The Mark 1. Yeah, there you go. The depth upgrade's going to take take up that slot. Okay, so they didn't patch all the bugs out of the moon pool yet. Um here. You want to shut up? God damn it. Growl worse than my stomach does when I'm hungry. Depth upgrade. So. There we go. There's another diamond from the enamel glass. Three ruby and synthetic fibers. Well, I've got another synthetic fiber here. One, two... Three ruby, a diamond. Ah, 
See, I need I need the lead. This is. Oh, you've got to be fucking shitting me! I can't deconstruct that now because it's attached to that. Ah. Oh. Let's go search for some more lead then, shall we? <laughs> oh god. I just shot myself in the foot with that bloody foundation. Basically, it won't let me remove that foundation until I remove the rest of the base, basically. Yeah. Lead. Give me lead. The struggle is real. <laughs> Give me the lead. That's copper. We're not going to pick up anything unless it's lead. Well, look. Oh. You are a normal sea truck fragment. You are copper. Look at those god rays. That's so beautiful. Anyway, uh, lead. Yeah, I was, I was about to say. I know, I know where there's going to be a bunch of diamonds, so I can turn the scanner room off from searching for the diamonds and switch it over to lead, so I don't spend the rest of the night searching just for lead. Bye. Where are you? Scanner room. Upstairs. Good. So I was hoping I wouldn't have to switch it off from the diamonds. I'm going to lose all of this. I'm going to have to wait forever for it to scan that far again. Okay. Argonite. That's the one, isn't it? The one that holds lead? No, Galena. No, the Galena is the silver. Oh. Come on. Uh, is it not boy state data bank? There we go. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Minerals, no, 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 no. geological data. Argonite, Calvarite, Galena. Lead and titanium, okay. Galena, please. Be quick about it. Speed, yeah, silver and gold. Well, I know where I can get more gold. You need anything? You don't need anything. I need some water, though. God, you guys are so goddamn loud. Well, I'm lucky. I have to say I'm lucky. It could be like a high-pitched, shrill sound. Now, if if that was the case, I definitely wouldn't have built the base here. Or if I'd started building and I'd heard that sound, then I'd definitely go. Because it's like a low rumble. It's not as annoying. I mean, if you can imagine, it would be like a high-pitched squeak. Then I'd definitely be out of here. And I was going to look for lead. But in the meantime, I wanted to get a speed upgrade. But I'm out of gold. But I know we can get gold in... There's gold in them hills. Them there hills. There's gold. Not exactly littered, but... Available on these hills here. That silver. We'll grab you if, you're here, if we're here already. That silver. That silver. Oh, and look, there's more silver. I'm gonna go away. There's gold. And there's gold. Titanium. Gold? Of course not. Both titanium. There's probably good more gonna be more down there, but. I don't want to do that without a reinforced dive suit yet. And this is where I'm going to want to put... That's the... That's the... 
these, well, not that, these, because there's two of them. The heat source. Go away. I want to put the thermal generators on. I'm going to have to connect my base to it. There is my base speaking. There it is, over there. Let's get some oxygen. more silver. Do you want to leave me the F alone? There's more silver. It's down here. Is that gold? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Perfect. down there. It's a way out. We can go that way then. Copper. Maybe there'll be more gold here. Silver again. Oops. Don't want to be there. There's gold. There's going to be gold. Yes. Copper. Titanium in that case. Is that lead? Oh, yes. Lead? No. Titanium. Is that an egg? No, it's table coral. Be lead. Lead. Nice. Let's go and get some air. <clears throat> Check out this area again. Maybe we can find some more lead. Oh. Didn't stay up for long enough. Never mind. Grab that. Leave me alone or I'll have to kill you. I said leave me alone. Did I not scan this yet? Good one. I didn't fucking put the knife back in my inventory slot. Just looking for lead. Leave me alone. This stuff right here. See? Yeah, of course. Now you're going to die. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> if I had a med pack on me, then I'd go back into the fight, but I'm not going to. That's not the hill I'm going to die on, that's for sure. Let's go home. Mm. And it is night time, so we'll get some rest after this. What was it we were trying to make? That. And we needed the enamel glass for it. And God damn, you're loud. So we need glass. And we can make the enamel glass. And then we can make prawn suit depth module mark one. So, I did make that for nothing, basically. 700 meters. Sweet. So, I think I'm actually going to call it here. Because <clears throat> I've been streaming now for nearly six hours. 
and the first stream I ever did, like the first stream I did with this Twitch Studio beta when I started playing again with uh, Death Stranding was 12 hours long, which was fun and all, but my throat's starting to get a bit sore and raw from talking a lot, <clears throat> which I'm not really used to anymore. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just I want to take a bit of a rest. Going to be up for another couple of hours for work anyway, so I'll see if there's anything new and interesting on Netflix or HBO, pick out a movie and uh, chill a bit. But yeah, uh, glad to get some new followers. Is it bit Big Brain? Big Brain Murur. Big Brain and uh, Janus had some people following along for once. It was nice, fun talking, chatting to people. Hopefully, we can uh, get more more people in over time. Gonna play through Below Zero now, seeing as we can actually complete it after they've released it with a 1.0, and then probably go back to Subnautica as well because. On this on this new computer, I haven't. I, I I made a new save file and I started a new game there, but I probably only got like four or five hours into it, so it's, I, I don't have a problem starting another one for like a stream. But that would be something nice to do. And then I'm really waiting for, and I hope to jump on that as soon as as uh, jump on that bag bandwagon as soon as the game comes out. Don't know if you guys have seen the ads for it on steam or on instagram but uh icarus is one thing as soon as it comes out i'm definitely jumping all over that's totally my jam kind of kind of game so that would be something something interesting to look forward to but yeah thanks for uh listening to me prattle along and uh, follow along with below zero we'll uh carry on tomorrow when i can possibly even think straight because I'm not so tired. <laughs> so, see you.